You wanted the best, you got the best. Host talk show in the morning, anywhere in the country. It's the Monsters Mornings. We are on Real Radio 104.1 FM, live on the iHeartRadio app. That's a live app. Listen to us on the radio, listen to us on the app, whatever you want to do. Also, you can leave us a message right now by clicking on that microphone on the app, and you can leave us a message. We'll play those a little bit later on in the show. If you have a smart speaker, every smart speaker knows us. Just say, smart speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. It'll pop it on for you. We're live on our YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. There's an interactive area there where you chat back and forth. Ryan chats with you all morning long there. And then if you want to text the show, 77031. Thank you guys already texting, saying, Good morning. Uh, Angel and I will text you back throughout the radio program. That's what's great about Live Talk Radio is that it's interactive and it's happening right now. And you'll have a chance to call the show a little bit later on and get on the air. So we got a lot, all that going on. What is up? I'm Russ Rollins, host of the program. And with the fellas, we're doing this until around 11 o'clock. Here's the producer, the Angel of Boom, Angel Herrera. Good luck. And the king of Denmark, Ryan Holmes. Smash that like button. Ske- ske- scheduled to appear uh, a little bit later on. Uh, Daisy Del Toro. Will be in with us today. We got uh, Monster Music Man Matt coming in. Oh, if you guys want some breakfast, uh, let, let him know. He'll, he'll swim by and get us some uh, some grub. Uh, like an etouffee. And we got some plans to make today. Wow, We've got uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. And tomorrow is Good Friday, and uh, and uh, lot, lot lots of things. Every good. Friday is good, Russ. Well, tomorrow is special good because you can get your tickets to the special Monster Brew <laughs> Bus. <laughs> it's special Good Friday uh, tomorrow because uh, you can get your tickets for the Monster Brew Bus on Good Friday starting tomorrow at ten. 10- o'clock. I've already had people that listen, Russ, I'll give you some extra money if you get my ticket. I'm like, I can't do that. This uh, one's I, out of our hands, people. I've had two people yeah. say, listen, I'll pay, I'll even pay extra. Let me just go and get my ticket. I want to make sure I can get on. And I can't, I, I'm, I just can't do that. I don't have that kind of, you know, I, I can't jump the. They're they, not letting us have access to that. So this yeah. is out of, out of, out of our control. They got a system over yeah. there. Uh, Glory's got a system. And, 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 and it, 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 the way they've got it is, you know, magically, uh, it turns on at 10, and as soon as that turns on, then that's when you well, get Well, that's t- when they smack the mouse in the ass, and then it starts running, and it fires everything up. Yeah, that's when it gets going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's tomorrow, Good Friday, 10 o'clock. Tickets go on sale for that. And then uh, we're making some plans today. I'll wait till Daisy gets in because uh, she has uh, some of the information. Uh, but we're making plans today for a possible pretty good fundraising event. But it's one of those... Kind of like back in the day when I did the uh, uh, the the stripper car wash or the topless car wash, and he's like, oh. "Okay, we're doing a topless car wash now." We're doing a topless car wash. We're, we're not. Hell no, yeah! But it's, I said, it's oh, we sort totally of, could do. We could do it in this building. I said it's sort of like that, oh. where you raise the money a certain way, and then some people might not take the money because of the way you raised the money. <laughs> so we got we got to find a, a charity that we can work with for this uh, this upcoming thing that we, we're planning for uh, Cinco de Mayo. Man, I already planning Cinco. You know, tomorrow, Good Friday, this coming Sunday, we got uh, Easter. And uh, do you guys have Easter plans? Like, do you even think about Easter that much? Uh, yeah, obviously with the uh, kids and whatnot and family. So uh, we're, everyone's gathering at, um, uh, with, at my pop's house for uh, Easter dinner on Sunday. That's great. So that's about the gist of it. It's it's kind of a bummer in this regard. Uh, for the most part, like uh, none of them are excited about doing an Easter egg hunt. None of the little guys. Isn't that funny? Yeah, they're that's like, uh, you know, we'll we'll take a basket because I was like, hey, you guys want to go to an Easter or egg hunt, or do you want to? We'll do. They're, they're thirteen and fourteen, right? Right. Well, uh, so my nephew and uh, my oldest one, they're, yeah, they're thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, and then the next you are a few years behind them but uh yeah and so everyone kind of collectively it just kind of happens like it sneaks yeah it sneaks up on you as a parent because you're like you know we do we just did this last year or whatever and then this is the year where it started things are things that you just took for granted that you were going to be able to do with your kid for a minute they're like yeah that's, uh, that's lame yeah do we have to do an easter egg hunt can we just get the the basket so this is the first year that my my grandson little emmett uh, little emmett atlas uh, is able to actually do Easter egg hunt. So we're uh, I'm doing that on uh, on Sunday morning at ten, which yeah. I, I'm very excited about my first uh, Easter egg hunt with him. I get to go and, and, and watch him do that. So that's a uh, that's kind of cool. And then we're just going uh, we're just going like I, there's no cooking because my sister I don't want my sister to have to 
cook and everything. She's getting ready for her surgery uh, in like two weeks, so she does. Obviously, she doesn't want to cook. Uh, I don't. I don't want Mary Ellen cooking because she does it all the time. So we're just. Are gonna, you buying? Are you like? Are you guys ordering a ham from that one ham spot? That this is the busiest time of year. We decided since uh, Mark and Carla are they're going to go, go to church and everything. I'm gonna go. Do, uh, we're gonna go do the Easter egg hunt thing, and after that, we're just gonna go meet at like an alehouse, <laughs> which, <laughs> which I know is not very <laughs> Easter like. Wow. But, uh, I figured, <laughs> to celebrate our Lord. I figure that's a way that I don't think. I love you, Jesus. Here's some zingers. Here's some zingers. I don't think there'll be a crowd, you know, for Easter. I, you are a fool, sir. You are going to be shocked. Really? Yes. One of the busiest days of the year for the places that are open. Really? For like, think if, about for it. For alehouse? Yeah, because think of it. You've been in Lent. You've been fasting. You've been like, let's say this was this your. This man has not been fasting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I have not been fasting. I didn't say. But uh, my uh, weight's uh, down, so screw you. There, little, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying that you're not fasting. I'm, I'm not fasting. That's uh, true. For the, those who observe, right? They've yeah. been doing all these things. So they're probably like minded of, uh, hey, let's go to our favorite spot. You're going to be surprised i think i forgot so lynn when they when they do the whole thing with the uh with the, the uh uh ash, ash wednesday the that's ashes, ash wednesday ash wednesday matter of fact i know exactly where i was for ash wednesday because i saw marky mark mark uh uh walberg uh at the, the the Stephen colbert show and he had the ashes on his head so that's where i was for ash wednesday so since then if you if you're catholic you gave away you, you, you gave, gave up, up something, something and you get to you get to be done with that on easter right Oh, that's yeah. why the people like Easter. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amongst can... other things that they're observing with their religion. That's the, and that's the whole point of Mardi Gras, too, because it's the day before Lent, mm-hmm. and you're supposed to just really go crazy. Yeah. Blow it out. Yeah. 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 Now, what about you, uh, Ryan? Uh, are you doing anything super uh, for, for Easter? He's doing uh, an Easter egg hunt. I'm doing an Easter <laughs> egg hunt, and by Easter egg hunt, I mean uh, smoking weed and chilling <laughs> in my bed. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, my mom is having people over, I guess, and then my brothers, uh, some, of my, some of my brothers are coming. Coming and who uh, just lost their mom, and then Christina's brother's coming over at the same time. I've never had all of these people interact with each oh, other. Oh, you know why Christina's brother's coming? Why? He's going to check you. For what? For all the Go things you've been uh, For locking out mom the other day. All right. That's fine. <laughs> She's a sweet southern lady. She gets over it. She'll just be passive aggressive for the next year or so. I can deal with it. <laughs> She'll be okay. Yeah, so uh, I haven't had an Easter gathering in a minute. That's why I didn't know what food is served on Easter. Yeah, ham, um, mashed lamb. potatoes. I don't. I never heard lamb, but yeah, I mean, you just, do lamb. Okay, yeah. the ham place. Okay, so I live by a ham place that has honey baked ones. Oh yeah, they, usually the line this is, is out the, the yeah, door. This for is that. their this is their Super Bowl, Ryan. But yeah. that's the thing. Like I look at that place all year long, and I'm like, how do you stay open? They it, 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 well, it's a go, pretty big real estate that they got. There. Go buy a ham. You'll see how they stay open all year. How much is a ham? <laughs> oh, they, they they're proud. They're very proud of is their honey baked ham. Is that, it really? Is is really? Yeah, they're proud of it. But oh. it seems to be worth it every time I have one. I'm like, damn, that's good. <laughs> you know. Like, like, but but they're, yeah. they're they're fairly expensive, and there's a line out the door to get your honey baked ham. Oh yeah, dude! Every year, they're like every all the big holidays, there are people that line up outside the door down four thirty six, and I'm like, a not a great neighborhood to be in a line, and b can't be that good. See, I, I love have, ham. But I think damn. I've eaten a ham from there. Oh, I know good. that I I know that I've never gone in there. I know that I've never uh, purchased one. I don't even know what the inside of that store looks like. You but. basically walk up to the counter, they give you your ham until you get out. <laughs> here, get out of here. Because take, take your ham and leave. Take your ham and get out of here. There's a line. <laughs> have you seen our line? Yeah, there's a line. Get out of here. You know, oh, did wow. you have to wait? Oh, too bad. No ham for you. No, no <laughs> ham for you. Yeah, that's the way they are. But uh, you know, I, I considered just saying, okay, listen, everyone come over to our house. We can relax, and then I'll just order something. But every time I do that, Mary Ellen always ends up cooking and then she's got to work, right. and, I, and I don't want that. So I'm like, no, we're just going to – we'll do the Easter egg hunt with uh, with Brittany and Emmett, and then we'll go uh, – You we'll, might want to check if Ale House is taking reservations that day. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't th- – I, I think you – I think, like Ryan mentioned, I think you're going to be shocked. I'm an M. I didn't think yeah. – I, I thought it's a bar on Easter. Who's going to go there? Yeah, but you got you got F1 racing. Yeah, you got F1. You got NASCAR. You've got the NCAA tournament. You've got uh, op- uh, baseball opening days today. Yeah. Uh, so th- uh, you got the women's side of the, of the NCAA basketball. So there's a ton of uh, stuff on, on television already. So right. a ton of sporting stuff. Hey, Monster Music Man Matt wants to know what your breakfast order is. What, 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 Honey what? baked ham. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to wait outside. Yeah, go bring to, us ham. No, no, no. He's going to go to 
Chick fil A to order the ham. Yeah. <laughs> Go to, they got a ham fillet. Chicken nuggets. I want, I want the nuggies. What, what, what do you want, uh, Angel? I, I, I'm open to anything. <laughs> yeah, the, the egg white thing. That egg, egg white thing. Yeah. Egg, egg white. What do you think, there, Ryan? We just doing a show here. Uh, I'll take, you know what? Uh, I will have a fruit cup. Fruit I will have cup? a parfait. Really? Uh, yeah, dude. I'm on a diet. It sucks. Well, that's what you should. That's why you need protein, man. You I need got it. Look, all I do is drink protein. I feel like it. I'm Are you serious? Key West. We got a texture coming in saying that uh, a ham at that place it could go up as high as two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars for ham. I told you. They are proud of it. That's how they stay open all year long. Damn, one day wow. a year keeps them open. Can anybody spell parfait? P A P A R F A I T F A I T. That's it. Parfait. Yeah. Right, That's right. a weird looking word. Never yeah, mind it's that French. Word. Parfait. Yeah. yeah. Radio <laughs> program. Yeah, that's, that's, it's all part of it. It's uh, all. It's all. In it. We got five hours to fill, boys. All right, listen. We're take a little break. We got our lunch menu segment at the end of the show. <laughs> we'll, t- we'll tell you what we're for lunch a little bit later on. All right, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been? Good morning, YouTube. How you doing? Happy, happy weekend Eve. Weekend Eve. Thursday, we're out right early. Shop Traffic Center. Shop best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Traffic's building up just a little bit. How y'all doing? Y'all talking religion in the chat? Okay. So mods in here right now, just lawless, living a crazy life. What's up, Cole? How you doing? Eddie, good morning. Eddie wants to know, is it bowling shirt week? Six seven six eighty four seventy seven from the traffic center of Easy Ash. This report simply is Jeremy. How's it going? East emergency. HCA Florida Castle Berry emergency. I went from at the intersection of US Highway seven T shirts to bowling shirts. Do you bowl? Visit HCA Florida Bowl that ass. This is not an urgent I don't tea either. <laughs> but I wore T shirts. <laughs> I think it's the shape for this shirt. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. Morning, David. Hello. All right. No mods. Y'all better be good. Ramon, how you doing? A celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make Vicky G. How are you, girl? How you doing? To the fans that make live music possible, we Simply Jeremy, you got a hernia. What makes you think you got a hernia? Sponsored by you feel it? Can you push it back in? Let's get some duct tape, baby. Thousands of patients finally getting rid of chronic joint pain thanks to QC Kinetics. I've never been a honey baked ham. Honey baked ham. They're pretty good. Meet Vicky. They got our YouTube. Yeah, we got. Well, yeah. You got my uh, thumbnail. Got some thumbnail. Why is that? Let me go there. QC Kinetics has treated over twenty. There you go. Now you're done now. Approach. This is regenerative treatments to help heal and restore painful joints with no downtime. You're, you and Jeff Howe, artist. Takes a lot of time to do that. <laughs> so much relief. About five minutes. Pain free that I don't have to have the surgery. Before going under the knife, you need to check out QC Kinetics. The consultation is free. Call today. Call QC Kinetics. 689. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake This kind of looks like a shirt from Friday. It's Magic City. They still got Friday insurance. Why are you I just think they closed one now tomorrow. I don't know. Castle, think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses. I like this one. She's got uh, it's but if got you weren't there, you would pay the mortgage and other bills. With uh, cool. Ethos, you could be it's covered like in nipple. 10 minutes and boom, now family that's a protected. Blast. Ethos, fast and easy <laughs> online term life insurance. Up to $2 million. I got, I got another one coming that's got Godzilla on it. Some and some yet. Yeah. Nice. dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. 
Pizza they sit right and they're great. I love eight ninety nine. <laughs> cheap as hell. If you're worried work. about having diarrhea, a little China man is making them sure. Stomach pain or loose oily stools. Yeah, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic. Old Tippett, you got a job. What is your job called? I don't believe it. Doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food. But What's going on in y'all's world? That's all I want to talk about. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. You got some big crazy stories that we're not hitting. Sponsored by Abvi. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes. They got bags, turkey there too at Honey Bay Tan. You know how it is. I, I bet That's nobody knows that. I would never that. think to go to get a turkey. Drop, you earn points for shopping. Do they really? Turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in I gift cards. I know it means that you're not having a job because you don't have a job. You don't have a. You don't. You haven't said what your job is. And you're here with me right now, so I'm gonna go with if so facto. Now for free on the App Store or Google Play. I've seen the three body problem on Netflix. Not yet. I haven't seen the six seasons of the Chinese show. I watched the best show I've seen in a long time. I watched the worst piece of crap movie I've ever seen last night. This one. Netflix has Christian movies on it? I guess. I didn't know that. And Christina started watching one. And. God ain't got no sense of humor. They, they, he just, just has no actors. God ain't got no actors. No. Except Kirk Cameron. Got him. Amy Smart was in it. And I like I liked Amy Smart back in the day. And I'm like, all right, let's, I'll, I'll sit here and watch this with you. And my God. Must be 21 and over. It was it was ridiculous. Conditions apply. Concerned about gambling, please call one 888 admit it When you buy a diamond at International Diamond Center, you can bring it back to your friend. Train it up to a big one. Got me today. Got a How to Train Your Dragon news coming. Okay. You pay me ten thousand dollars for Andrew Miller. You work at Home Depot. What are some Home Depot secrets that I need to know? Give you a bonus of a thousand dollars. IDC owner Keith Rachel works at her church on Thursdays. I don't believe you, Rachel. I'm gonna check with Maitland Presbyterian right now. Who else does this? I'm gonna pay you. The X Men '97 episode was awesome. That is such a good show. I'm glad they didn't fuck that one up. IDC from the rest. Excuse me for curtsy. We stand behind what we sell. We know what we're selling. We believe in what we're selling. Old Tribbett works from home as a personal that injury that law firm. IDC, your trust means everything. We want you to feel Are you a paralegal? With confidence. International Diamond Center. Are you a, are you a tri-seralegal? That's a diamond store that does not. Full transparency and the strongest consumer protection warranties in the industry. Our job is to keep you as a customer. International Diamond Center. Four Orlando locations. Hey, let's get out of here. Good morning, Brandon B. We could root for Are you related to Rachel B? Are you the B of the of the Mississippi B? Run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real Roadhouse was terrible Southern drama. So or bad. Find out what life is really like for an I didn't hate it. Though. It was just bad. I mean, Audible, but it wasn't good go bad. Anywhere. But it had There's good parts. I, I, I would say that fight scene at the end was pretty good. At audible.com. A real crew capsule. A next generation. I've watched better. I've watched worse movies, but it was not. Definitely did not. Gambit in a crop top was a bit much. Charles, it was the 90s. That's how people dressed. We had a whole conversation about it. Into the future of space travel. Crop tops were a thing if you were a cool dude back in the you know 80s and 90s. Show that belly button. Real thrills. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. I don't like how they make him a sad little baby boy. He's supposed to be Gambit. He's supposed to be cool. He's just running around sad boy. Waiting for you to explore right now, like Lost Eighties, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the eighties. Good morning. Water from metal can is good. Yes, you can actually recycle those. They don't recycle plastic bottles. All right. Come back, baby. Hit the so like good. button. Do the thing. Help you boy. For your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Radio. 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 Hey, tickets go on sale tomorrow for the Monster Brew Bus. We want to thank our sponsor, Wasi's Meat Market, for making it happen. Angel, Absolutely. Angel put all this together. He put a lot of work into it. So uh, get your tickets tomorrow. When they're gone, they're gone. So uh, starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow. While we're live while we're on the air, we'll be selling the tickets for the Monster Brew Bus. Three stops. And uh, it's going to be a great time. And remember, if you have a smart speaker, tell your smart speaker, 
It's Mark Spear. Play Real Radio 104.1 and iHeartRadio. Yes, Angel. Speaking of places that uh, do orders and uh, getting your stuff ready for Easter. For Easter, yeah. Wa- uh, Wasi's a great place, and it has a great selection of uh, Easter food and everything that yeah. you want, whether it's uh, mm-hmm. your ham, your roast, your steaks, your pies, anything that you might need for uh, Easter. you got to get your order in because yeah. they are closed on Easter Sunday. Oh, okay. They're closed that day. So if you want to give them a call, they're obviously closed right now, but if you want to give them a call, get your order in. It's 321 321- Two four two three three four eight. Yeah, they got to have time to cook on their big grand egg too at home. Yeah, you know, man. with their family, so they they need their time. Uh, welcome back. I'm Russ, along with uh, Angel and Ryan here today. So, um, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and I, listen, I know how this sounds, but I'm going to keep reporting on it. I'm going to keep telling you uh, because I know it sounds bad. Uh, it'd be easier for me to go. Yeah, man, I went to the big triple iron gym yesterday and I lifted a bunch of heavy, heavy weights. And Hell I, yeah, bro! And I killed it. You know, you know, you know and I did squat. Watts and I Nine. did, uh, you know, the, the, the super thrusts or Hell whatever. Yeah, bro, super thrusts. How much you super thrust? I, di- I I this was day three of chair yoga, oh, and I know boom. it sounds bad, but I am telling you, day three, I couldn't get the, through the entire thing. No, oh my god, <laughs> it, you're it, being beaten by a chair. I, 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 it, you know what? It was now this time we weren't sitting in the chair. This time we were standing by the chair. Chair was barely in the workout uh, yesterday. To be honest with you, uh, you got to put your hand on the chair, kind of a thing, and uh, and you got to keep up for ten minutes with this old man on the screen. And and <laughs> I like how dismissive he is of the of the guy that's instructing the class. Well, he's just an old man doing the doing the thing, and you uh-huh, keep... but it seems like he's doing well better than you. He did. I'll give him. I'll give him that. I'm sitting there because it makes you think. Well, I can keep up with this old man, and then. Next thing you know, you're about ten. You know, I don't know, eight minutes into it, and you're like, "Ooh, I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna stop for a second. I mean, uh, it, the yo, yoga in general is deceiving. I think everybody, if you've never tried yoga, you would see that if you tried it, you're like, "Oh, this looks easy." And then next thing you know, you're working out these muscles you don't. Do you know think the, people think yoga is easy? Oh yeah, they laugh at it, they scoff no. at it. I don't. Maybe I, maybe that's the, you the circle, or yeah, or you or your insecurities about it. But I've never ever made a dispersion mark about yoga itself. I know. Now, I, I, now I'll I, goof on you. I know <laughs> when Diamond Dallas Page was in here and he started the yoga thing, everyone was laughing at him at first. They, they were like, But that's oh, what, back you. in the 80s? We all were laughing at it. Like, oh, yoga, that's for girls. That's a girl thing. But when you start doing it in this stupid 28-day challenge, and look, it's only 10 minutes, so I tell myself, well, it's only 10 minutes, I can do it. But this was the second day I wasn't able to do everything the old man was doing on the yeah, uh, that old man's kicking thing. your ass. Old man's beating your ass and uh, choking. And you keep calling him uh, old man. He's going to kind of have a word with you. It's a different old man every day. Uh, it, they got, what do you? They got a collection of old men. A bunch of old men that do these things. Right? Turns on, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it does yeah, not. You got a favorite one, though, don't you? He's I'll, got twenty-eight days of uh, different old man. But I'll look at it. And I'm like, well, I can do. I can keep up with this old man. You know, I'll just like, uh, like, hold on. I'll show you this old man here. Hold on. Well, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, I can keep up with that old man, right? That looks easy. And, and maybe you, it's and a, you, a gag to sell the app. You think so? Yeah. Who'd you just call? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just said something. Uh, go, just go back. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I, you know. Mm. What are you doing, man? It's keeping me. It's keep. At least it, it, here's what I do, though. I'll go. Uh-huh. I'll do that, and I'm uh-huh. like, man. Okay, I'll do my best with the uh, ten minutes of yoga, and then I do a workout afterwards, which has been uh, which has been good. But uh, yeah, listen. I know it'd be more manly for me to come in here and say, you know, I was lifting all these weights, and I. You know, Hell I, yeah. I did the thrust and I did the you know hey, you're thrusting. I, I don't I don't think Russ knows how to work out. No, he's, he's, just making, he's just making up one. He could, there's so many ones you could have said, and he just made he went, hip hip thrust. Hip thrust. Oh, I had to do that yesterday. That was one of the things I had to do that I couldn't finish. It's not yeah. so uh, well, your poor what, wife. Here's what you do: you, you you put your hands on the on the chair, uh-huh. and then you gotta you gotta you know act and then like you you're, lose your head, like you're like you're banging the air, you know, up up up, like you're thrusting up, uh-huh. and, like you're banging and, a ghost, and, and and do that for a minute, like like the first. Uh, uh, 30 seconds, like, oh, this is easy. And they're like, okay, <laughs> I don't use these muscles that often. Uh, it's yeah. called the hip flexor. It, it's, uh, I don't know. Hold on. It's like, I don't, no, what are you doing, stop dude? Doing that. Yeah. And, and it, you do that for a minute. I'm already sweating. I'm scared. Yeah, I could do that all day long. Oh, it's you could banging my wife. Oh, you could it's not. It's easy to do. You don't bang her in the air like that. Yeah, I do it. You'd be, you don't know what I do. We're like circus ole. <laughs> and I do mean ole. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh, anyway, so uh, so I did that, and then after that, I watched one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. Was it two two women <laughs> making out, and you were weirded out by it? No, it was not. Because you're a man who does choking. 
So you think chair yoga makes you gay? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that the joke? Is that is no. that what you're trying to say? No, what are you I'm doing, saying, Ryan? Are you disparaging you're playing on his emotions, no, Ryan. I'm just saying it makes you gay. Uh, no, 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 no. And that's fine. And that's fine. If you want to be, that's oh, so, cool. So, I totally so support it. So being gay it. is a bad thing from no, what you're saying. No, I totally support what you want to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just feel free to express yourself, Yeah, Buzz. express yourself, yeah, man. Um, okay. We'll get you a little old bell. You know, so I complain <laughs> about I've seen everything, and I complain about there's not much anything good on anymore. I swear, one of the funny and and look, I only was able to watch four because they were an hour each, so it was only four hours. But oh, only you only had only had four hours uh, to watch this. Only four hours to watch this. Okay, but this is the prequel, and it's Ted, uh, and it's Ted, and it's on uh, it's on Peacock, and it's Seth MacFarlane. It's the little bear, Ted, right? Uh huh. It was so funny. It is, it is so funny. It's it's you know you know in the movie Does it still got Wahlberg. No, it's not Wahlberg. It's Wahlberg when he was a kid, right? So it's the prequel to to the movies that we've seen. So it's like mm. him growing up with Ted, and it is. I mean, so they basically ripped off uh, with uh, what's that one one show where they did uh, the younger version of the nerd. Uh, Young Sheldon. Young Sheldon. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, just, it's it's okay. It's, it's the prequel to that. Gotcha. And it is it is as edgy and as as, as, as I mean the way the same way Ted was, you know, where they uh, they talk about all kinds of stuff that you're like, oh my goodness. Uh, but it's all set in 1993, and I and I didn't think I could be nostalgic for 1993, right? Like the 90s were the best decade, man. But what are you my about? God, so all, the different, great again. all the different all the different like 1993 references that I had forgotten about, you know, that pop up in this thing. Uh, it, it is. Which what, what? Do you remember one that caught your attention? Uh, well, I mean, they, they, you know, they they're going to the, they're going to go to the uh, the video store to rent a you know video, gotcha, gotcha, and, and, right. and, and 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 Ted and the kid want to go get a porn, so they got to go into the you know, adult area, but they won't let them in the adult area, mm-hmm. and there's a whole you know, but uh, but Seth MacFarlane. It, you know, I don't know that I give him enough credit or I pay attention to him enough. I know I liked the Ted movies when they came out, but this uh, this show is so edgy and so funny. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it that, if you want to know what kind of humor is my kind of humor, uh, Ryan, watch this. Uh, CGI teddy bear humor is your style of humor? Just, no, just the, the, the way that he writes it, like, the, like mm. the jokes and stuff are just really, really funny. All the characters in it are really good. Uh, at first, I didn't think I was going to like the characters. I'm like, oh, that's not Mark Wahlberg. I don't want to see this kid. You end up loving the kid. Uh, the sister is great. Like, it, it really is funny and edgy as hell. It's interesting because Seth MacFarlane has a bunch of things out there, and it's funny that this is the one that's grabbed your attention because he's also written for, like, Futurama, uh, The Cleveland Show, Family, uh, Guy. Uh, Family Guy, like all these animated shows. And I think those you were cartoons. Don't like those. I, I was just going to say that, right? I think you would dig them because if you like the writing, he's a head writer for these. But I, I think your block of that's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. Yeah. You're, you're 100 percent correct. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not watching a cartoon, but I'm watching a little, a little, teddy, yeah, teddy a, little bear. a little bear. Yeah. <laughs> and look, CGI. I like CGI. That's okay. And what's funny about it is the teddy bear, you know, Ted goes to goes goes to high school with him, and nobody, everyone just accepts that he's a, you know, oh yeah, that's that teddy bear that came to life. Whatever. Back in the eighties, <laughs> like, like, and there, so nobody makes a big deal about you know Ted being a, a, a teddy bear. It, it it really is a funny show, man. And they, they cover masturbation, they cover uh, pot smoking, Crazy. they they cover uh, porn. I mean, just all this stuff that is so politically incorrect. Uh, racism. Oh, there's a whole first. Thing, the only the first thing is about racism, about what he can say, what Ted can say, and what he can't say. It is it is it is super funny. So if you're looking for something, fun, I've only seen four episodes. I know there's a whole. A whole season of it. Is it Ted too? Uh, it's, no, it's just called Ted, Ted. and it's okay. on Peacock. And, and I was surprised. It's one of those things you got to just watch it on Peacock. It's never going to be on TV. It is so. No. It is so rated. I mean, if there, what's the step past R? Uh, is there a step past? It would be X. M A. Uh, what's that? EVMA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for, yeah. I mean, really, really, yeah. really, uh, you know. He also did a really great show that you would probably hate because it's because it's not Star Trek, which is yeah, the, he did, yeah. the Orville. The, oh, I, I like that. Yeah, I did like The, the Orville was awesome. That yeah. guy is a super talented dude, but his wheelhouse is definitely late 80s, early 90s nostalgia humor. Yeah. Uh, but I love Orville. I don't know if it's coming back or not. Because uh, I, I, Star Trek The Next Generation, I always thought was awesome. And, yeah. like, the weird thing about him was, like, he always wanted to, like, 
of all of the things he's done, from the movies to the TV shows, he's always like, I want, I want a shot at the Star Trek movies. He wanted to be in Star Trek, yeah. So, but so he just eventually ended up making his own in his own universe. And it, see, it, that was funny. I like that. And it's not that wasn't cartoon. That yeah. was uh, regular people. Uh, and I like that. But um, you know, it, I didn't it, even it, know this existed. There's so much stuff on Peacock or these little NC17. Apps. NC17. That's yeah. what this should be. Yeah, yeah. It, it probably is. Yeah, it's real, real. I mean, they talk about stuff. I mean, it's. But that's it's, why, I mean, that's where these platforms have to go to draw attention. So it's a brand, it's a, it's an IP that uh, people are familiar with. Yeah. And then it's, like you just said, it's only going to live there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean and, or, or let's put it this way. It's only going to live on streaming platforms. At some point, Peacock will sell it to or give the rights to another streaming platform to carry it. But it's only going to be in that world. You're not going to see that on, you know, on uh, on your any of the three basic networks. You yeah. Know? I, like, like I said, I never thought of being nostalgic for like 1993, but I mean, like all the jokes about, you know, they're making jokes about Kirk Cameron. They were making jokes about the stuff that only happened around that year. And I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot about that. You know, and of course, that's what he's that's that that's the joke of it. It's stuff you forgot about. It makes you laugh. But uh, mm. but yeah, if you ever if you get a chance to watch, it's on Peacock now. How many people have Peacock though? Like, uh, do you guys have Nobody. that one? Not, uh, they got it for football and they canceled it. Yeah, oh. I think I. Well, I don't even know. I think I have it. What yeah. else would be on there? It's worth it's it's worth. Getting there's a show that. on there that like it just came to Netflix. I didn't know this show existed. I don't know how many seasons it is, but there's a show called uh, Girls Five Ever. That was done on Peacock, and it was the writers. It was Tina Fey and the writers of like Kimmy Schmidt. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's about a girl group from the early two thousands, okay. and how they're all in their forties now. Okay. And it's great. It's it's hilarious. Busy Phillips is in it, uh, and that I guess that was on Peacock. Oh, that sounds. You know what else is on thirty one million? Thirty one million people are uh, as of twenty twenty three are on Peacock. There's something on there called Poker Face, and it's the uh, this I forget her name, man. She's this Lady Gaga. No, 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 no. no it's the, de- the detective show, right? Right? Uh, she's kind of a detective. A detective. She can tell yeah. whether anyone's lying or not. Yeah, like, yeah. She knows if you're I lying. I know you like that actress. And, I've seen and, an and episode she, of that. And she's from Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Uh, she also was in the Kiss movie, uh, Detroit Rock City, but that's, uh, that's deep cut. That's neither here nor uh, there. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but she, she's got this really scratch, uh, I don't know, this crazy voice, but a uh, really good show, and it's on Peacock as well. But, um, yeah, I don't think a lot of people have... Peacock. What is it? Thirty-one million. Thirty-one million. That's not. A, that's not. Well, Ted, I, I, I'm, I, I'm curious to see if, if Ted starts getting a lot of attention because it is really. I mean, you talk about things that you know. Oh my God, you can be canceled for saying that. Like, there's a ton of that. There's a ton of you can be canceled for saying that in in, uh, in the new Ted thing, and it is a prequel. Ain't nobody canceled. Yeah. Yeah. I I I, I agree with that now. Yeah, I, now, a time now, where... now that I realize Twitter is just bots and uh, the dead internet theory I fully believe in, I'm like, no one's getting canceled. Uh, all corporations will freak out for a minute. And then when I see the, about it. when I see the overcorrections for you know that time when everyone was getting canceled, so everybody freaked out about you know. And I, if you if you if I'm driving down the road and I'm look, you know I'm, I'm looking on the mm-hmm. radio and and they, the names of the bands come up, and now when it just says chicks. Like, 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 even their old songs, it just says chicks. They're not Dixie chicks anymore. I'm like, man, that was an overcorrection. That just, and now you're well, reminding me. Well, they got me. canceled in the 2000s. Yeah, they, they did. They, yeah, they, that was, and, and, and that, what happened to them was actually, I mean, that's the fan base turning on them. They did. That, you're yeah. right. That, that's right. But, but their, their overcorrection happened way afterwards because they were afraid about being canceled again. So they're like, we'll just call ourselves chicks. I think they were just trying to get attention at that point. Yeah, it could have been. Because who's talking about the Dixie Chicks in 2020? Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, we'll change our names. It was right around that Lady Antebellum time and when they, they changed it to Lady they, A. They're now Lady A. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We still know what the A stands for. I know. Lady. That's the thing. That was an overcorrection that I don't think needed to, to happen. But uh, Well, but, they were just being nice in, for history's sake, I guess. Morgan, I say- Wallen, Morgan Wallen had embarrassed them. <laughs> that was during the Morgan Wallen thing when he yelled the N-word at his buddy of his and, and they, everybody was going crazy. And uh, so all these country acts start changing their names uh but ted seth mcfarland don't give a damn <laughs> i mean he goes at the i well, mean there's a difference between like yeah. humor and racism and and being like truly misogynistic and things like that like i'll i'll, I'll always defend all of that stuff if it's done the right way the proper way 
then there is a way to do it. You don't just get to go say horrible things however you want because a lot of people disguise it. A lot of people do disguise their horrific hate behind them. It's like, I'm just joking. Yeah. So, so do you think Seth MacFarlane, and, and there's a lot of race jokes in here and a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, I'm very familiar with MacFarlane because he's been doing that in Family Guy for 20 years. So do you... Uh, do, do, because he's making those jokes, do you consider him racist? Do you consider him a horrible no. person? Yeah, no. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think we're... Uh, I think there's a weird thing that happens when we start talking about this. Mm. There's nothing wrong about making racial jokes. Yeah. That, that there's nothing I mean that, that's that's us. That's that's us as humans, right? There is something about there's definitely something wrong about being racist. Correct. Right. So you th- so Racial humor is is always going to be there, and I don't think anyone's gotten canceled, quote unquote, or gotten app for their racial humor. That's the, the, the people that have been canceled is because of their racist comments. The whole first episode of Ted is is them trying to figure out whether Ted is racist or not, or whether the dad is racist or not, and they're doing all these and saying, and some of them are like, oh yeah, that that particularly is racist, yeah. and then well, this one isn't. You, and, I can't believe you've never seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I have. It would be right up your alley. Really? No, he would. I I, I don't. I. I don't want him to watch it. No, I, I, I think you'd find it funny for, for the minute, wrong reasons. But yeah, for a minute there, I wanted. I was camping as a rush. You got to watch this. this is yeah. the longest running show. The, the, now I've come full circle. I don't want him to watch it. Why? Because because you not gonna watch it now. Because you're not gonna like it. Oh, you don't think? No. Just watch the episode. The gang gets addicted to crack because <laughs> okay. it's you'll love it. Oh okay. my god, the classic. Well, That's one of the best. Ever. I, I definitely recommend for those of you that listen to the show. I have. I, I can't imagine anyone not laughing their ass off at Ted. Once again, it's on. Uh, it's on uh, Peacock, and it, it's all set in 1993, so the references and stuff are from there, and it's it's really, really funny. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Real Radio is the news junkie. Something is coming back into popularity that has not been popular for a very long time. Sean Wells. What? <laughs> How dare you? My Daddy. popularity remains at an all-time high. The news junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. The Magic have dropped back-to-back games coming up short last night against Golden State. Cole Anthony, 26 off the bench to lead the Magic. Paulo Mankero went 15 and had a tough shooting night, just 5 of 17. The Sweet 16 of the NCAA Tournament is here. Four games tonight, two each in the East and West regions. And baseball is back. Openers around the majors. The Marlins open at home against the Pirates. The Rays are also home against Toronto. I'm at four. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. Man, let me tell you my, about my great friends over there at Wasi's Meat Market. Like we were talking about earlier about, you know, getting planning for your, your Easter dinner. Let me stress to you, it's important. You got to get your orders in, right? You got to get your orders in if you're going to get your, whether it's your hams, your roasts, your steaks, your pies that you might need for the holiday for Easter Sunday. You want to put your orders in at, there at Wasi's. And if you're going to call that in, write this number down and give them a call when they open up later on today. It's 321 321- Two four two three three four eight. They got the great hams. They got the roast. They got the steaks. They got the pies. They got all of that. And you want to be able to put your order in. So take advantage of that. Also, if you're interested in a big green egg, you got to go to wassiesmeatmarket.com. That's wassiesmeatmarket.com. And they have all the schedules of the classes that they offer for the big green egg. The reason I already stressed that about that is that everything that they cook and everything that they do in, the, in those classes. What up? Good morning. The techniques and you're going to learn all that, of how to use it, how to like your big green egg. How to do all that in on those classes? Saturday, you if you're uh, out and about on a Saturday, swing by there. That's when the Wasi's coffee team is out front grilling, and, 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 and uh, you can actually sample some of the food on a Saturday morning. Check out the meat market. You guys still listening to Nixon? It's right there. Wasi's meat market in Melbourne. Hit them up on the website. Wasi's meat market.com. Check out all the different classes that they have for the big green egg. Hit them up on the website. Wasi's meat market.com. I used to. I'll be real with you. I used to play. There was a time in my life. Brian loved country. Oh man, a lot of Tim McGraw, a lot of Trace. And one of the things I would play out with the Dixie Chicks album Fly. Wide open spaces. That song is a banger. <laughs> I didn't cancel them. Still played it.
baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's I learned when America in the motion picture. Never heard of it. What's it on? Hey Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, Good morning, Paul. Since I turned 40, I just get the doing? results I used to Good get. Good to see you. Lower testosterone, lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that on TV. Is it for real? Oh yeah, the patented T. Haggard and Cash is the only good country. Okay. That's like me going, Elvis is the only good rock. Are they sent me this? Bottles for people to try it for themselves. Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text all to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text ALL to 321321. That's all to 321321. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor. April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. Located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harry's sip and savor. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Just dial pound law. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Classic rock legends Foghat live in Orlando June 9th at the Plaza Live. All the hits. Slow Ride, Fool for the City. Third Time Lucky and more. Tickets and more information at AXS.com. The best way to fight inflation is to grow your money more quickly. That's why I want to tell you about my good friends at Suncoast Credit Union, where you can earn 5% annual percentage yield on a regular 12-month share certificate or 5.25% on a jumbo certificate. With three Central Florida locations, Suncoast is your local and loyal credit union. It makes it simple to get a share certificate to fit your needs. Visit any of their new locations on South Cimarron, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to suncoastcreditunion.com. Com to learn more and remember with Suncoast you always get more love and less fees. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Car crash? Call Clausman. ClausmanLaw.com. That's K L A U S M A N. Hope you're getting to work all right. This this be a good. This be good to work out to with my new. Uh, Someone sent me this, Angel. It said, Rush, you should try this. It's metal yoga. <laughs> it's, it's all these metal guys doing metal music, uh, like doing yoga together. 
Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, yoga is deceiving. <laughs> I got to tell you that. It's an actual a really good exercise. Everybody should really do it. I just think it's funny you do it with an old man in a chair. I do, too. Trust me. I, I, I find I see the humor in it all. <laughs> That's the only reason I bring it up. Uh, welcome back to the Monsters Mornings Real Radio 104.1. If you have a smart speaker, tell your smart speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, and uh, it'll pop it on for you. And we're live on our YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. Bunch of women. People, a lot of people texting this morning. Thank you guys so much for all the texts. And I saw you were chatting with people in the uh, in the YouTube chat. Oh yeah, they're 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 talking about being canceled in country songs. And there's people in there that says the only good country is George Strait and Johnny Cash. Because <laughs> uh, I was talking about how I used to actually listen to the Dixie Chicks. That album Fly is a great was album, a banger, bro. It's Wide a, open spaces. So that's, that's what a get, good song. That's what got me. Wide open spaces came on, and at that time they were the Dixie Chicks, right? And I'm looking. It says Wide open spaces. The chicks, and I'm like, they, so they went back and changed their name for all of their previous mm-hmm. stuff as well because they were so afraid about being canceled again. It's just, it's just I, an overcorrection. I just, I just. But think what it's if silly. I mean, like, if you, so you don't believe their rationale for that? You don't believe what the women said? I don't. I, I think they're afraid of being canceled, so they're like, after I, I, after everything that they've been through, yeah, you think that that. What was the thing that they were afraid of? Once they got canceled the first time, and then people threw all their, their CDs out. But that, but if you like, if you listen to the interviews of them and you and you heard them talking about it, yeah, that just made them stronger. That, that they were again, if you believe them as artists yeah. and you believe what they're talking about, that that shows conviction. It seemed as if everyone was really scared at one particular time, right around two thousand, I guess. I don't forget exactly. It was right during the Morgan Wallen thing, and yeah, then everybody that, was changing their names and yeah, this and that because they were afraid of being. But that's okay. So I, I think we're blurring a couple things here, right? Um, I do that all the time. There's yeah. nothing mm-hmm. wrong with becoming self-aware, and there's nothing wrong with if something is brought to your attention and you're like, you know what, I've never seen. Seen it in that light, I'm going to course correct. I'm going to change it like this. Those women, they had a uh, elected officials s- basically sick their fans on them. Mm-hmm. She called out the president of oh, the United States. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah that was a different so, situation. Yeah, no, yeah. no, but so I'm saying. Toby Keith was the, the worst one right, with them. Right, yeah. so they went, through, they went through all of that, and that's very well documented. Oh, yeah. And then you think that in, the two th- in 2001, when we're going through the pandemic, that the fact that they decided to change their name is because they were afraid? I think there was a there was a possibility they had, they had gone through it and they had been beaten up so much and like, oh, my God, now we're going to catch hell for this? No, no because, no, because no. for them in that world, going into the country world and doing that, they'll take more flack than not doing it. Yeah, I, I think one hundred percent. They're just I, ladies who stand up for what they 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 they, they were told. Hey, well, Dixie here, is this thing? Maybe don't do that. And they're like, hell yeah, we're not. Here's what I've learned: uh, there can be there can be different truths because of different perceptions, right? So, for my perception is, man, that looks like an overcorrection. But for them, they could be looking like, no, that's really what we wanted to do, because you know. So, so you're right. Like from their perception, I'm just saying. It I, might be, I saw the interviews. I saw the uh, interviews with Natalie and, and the other girls that were in the band and everything, and just. Li- Learning about them and learning because after the President Bush thing, there's plenty of things that they changed and there's a ton of stuff that they adjusted in the way that they do, did stuff. Yeah. And they come to my, my impression of them as strong, educated, smart women. Oh, they are. And so that when they make a decision, it's like, nah, you know what? We had never thought about that the name that way. We're going to change it, and we're going to, and this is our decision. We want to do that. And, and talk about that particular one. I mean, you know, a lot of people came from Dixie. It doesn't mean you believed in everything that happened in Dixie. You were born there. You were, you know, that's they, they, they called that area the uh, the of the country Dixie. So to say we were the Dixie chicks is not that big of a deal. Uh, but whatever. I, I don't. Know. It's, when I see that, it strikes me as that's just one of the overcorrections we made during that time that seemed to not be that big of a deal. Now it kind of it's kind of gone back. The pendulum has gone back. <laughs> Yeah, but the they're, like again, like they're just going like, okay, when you when you go to Dixie, a lot of people go, oh, Dixie, it's just a term for the Southern states, but it actually like it, it's it's where the slavery line was drawn. And they you're, go, and you're one of the people that we, that that yeah, you, you're totally into that. You, you, that's your that's your thing is to take something that, and to go down the rabbit hole of it and figure out where the bad part is. That is not my thing. <laughs> it is your thing. I just know when I hear something has a bad history, I go, okay, I guess I'm done with that. It's very easy to do. I, you're gonna you're gonna miss a lot in life, man. No, I don't. Cause, cause my, I, li- there, I would say my life perfect, is enriched because n- nothing if, perfect about the past, man. No, dude, yeah, my I, life is it, enriched it, because then I don't have to waste my time with uh, certain people that wanted to. 
defend stuff like that. Nothing. It's nothing, so much easier. Nothing is perfect in the past, and I don't care what race you're at. You're like white, black, Puerto Rican, you know, whatever yeah. you are. Everyone's got something in their past well, that they're not so proud of. Well, I will say F the Confederacy at all times and all things related to it. And the term Dixie is directly related to the Confederacy, Russ. Like, like the fact that you just want to dismiss it, it sh- kind of shows that – like to you, it's an acceptable term, but if you do the research and you do the history, the term Dixie is specific. But there's so many things that we don't know the history of that we we still use no, those no, terms no, no, every no. day, that's, and it doesn't, that's not it doesn't accurate. change the no. world. So, that, okay, if you, you have a best, choo- if you have a best friend, right, it's, yeah. your, it's your best friend, yeah. and then you're like, all right, cool, man, you, we, we're boys, what's up? And then you're boys for 20 years, and then you find out, like, yo... This dude, like, definitely raped or murdered somebody. Well, raped or murdered? Wait, what do you think the Confederacy did? Well, not everybody in the Confederacy did. I, but yeah, what I'm saying is, like, it's, it's, it's like, a wide brush so you're using you, right now. So what you do is you find out about it, you readjust and go, well, I'm not going to be friends with that guy. It's very simple to do. Not for me. <laughs> I, you, you, I think you wasted a lot of time uh, canceling a lot of stuff in your life. I'm not canceling, but being open to hearing actual history of things is A, super interesting, and B, allows me to make informed decisions. You know what? If if you don't know your history, you're going to repeat it. And so, like, we're in the process right now of repeating a lot of things because people don't want to know the history of our country, Russ. Right. So 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 to you, you're thinking... What I'm hearing you say, and if I'm wrong, you can tell me I'm wrong. Uh, um, what I'm hearing you say is like, oh, I don't want to delve in those things because, you know, it's bad and we don't know it all and this and that, whatever. But if you look at what we're doing right now as a country, we're making a lot of the same mistakes that have been made before that if we taught these I, things and we talked about these things, we wouldn't be. I guess my point is, is that no matter where you go, there are a lot of mistakes. Like we're talking about him being the king of Denmark. If you go back to Denmark and you go look what the Vikings did, like, oh, my God, we shouldn't call him the king of Denmark. In Denmark, they had Vikings and they were terrible people. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. You can go down many rabbit holes and cancel everything. <laughs> everything is cancelable because not everybody is we ju- Wait a minute. We just, just admitted that nothing has been cancelled. Well, I'm, I'm saying, but yeah, for Denmark, Ryan, I'm, happiest I'm, country in the world. I'm yeah, talking about, I'm talking about for Ryan though. Ryan will go down a rabbit hole and go, oh, I can't, I can't support that anymore because the way back then they did this. I, I, I think I, I, Vikings would be the no, same thing. I, I think got, you're oversimplifying it because yeah. what he's talking to you about is being aware and being open and being and knowing about it and it's and too knowing hard. and knowing it's too about hard. it's not. It's it really not. Is. It's too hard to know everything. You don't it's have not. to know everything. But when all. something is told to you, like when you find out a different piece of information, something's told to you. To fight against it is harder. You know what I mean? Like, it's easier to just go, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Here, that's a really interesting part of history. Okay, go. I'm not going to not shop at Winn-Dixie because of, the, because of the whole thing. I just go, now when I see that word, I'm they're like, the that's meat, weird. They're the meat people, and they kill uh, they kill, they, they kill, kill animals. Oh, my God, you can't go there anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? We eat meat. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're delicious. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, pigs. Don't be delicious. Exactly. The pigs are What prize do we have in the prize pinata today? Today's prize pinata is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. They are Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving services. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience. Go get a quote today. All you got to do is go to the website, CentoMoving.com. That's CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress and move with the best. Russ, in today's prize pinata, we've got a pair of tickets to go to Orlando City SC versus the New York Red Bulls Saturday, March the 30th at Inter and Co. Stadium. Nice. And then we also have a pair of tickets to see Stone Temple Pilots and live the Jubilee Tour with special guest Soul Asylum. And that's going to be August the 28th at Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater in Tampa. Those are the prizes in today's prize pinata. Very nice. You yes, want to get on the line if you want to uh, play a little trivia. The telephone number is 407-916-1041. Remember, if you win trivia, you get to plug and promote whatever's important to you. And you get one of the prizes from the prize pinata. And then uh, we got Daisy Del Toro is here and also Monster Music Man Matt will be in here in a second so uh don't go anywhere you're listening to the monsters of the morning do you do words good prove it the talk back feature on the free iheart radio app follow real radio 104.1 tap the microphone and speak we have very slow traffic eastbound on i4 from before us 27 to state road 429 we're also heavy from osceola parkway to state road 535 westbound i4 is getting slow near lake mary boulevard we look great on the greenway from Sanford to Osceola County. Things are quiet on the 408 from Colonial to the Turnpike. Because of the Walk for Wishes, Osceola Circle and the Washington Street cul-de-sac are closed near Lake Eola. 
And if you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Spring has sprung for the used car market, and that means full tilt boogie time, baby, at GiveMeTheVin.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GiveMeTheVin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. GiveMeTheVin.com is A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. They offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and a free pickup. Just click on GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Get an alarm clock! Get a rooster! Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday, for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on! Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. Now Hard Rock Bet is legal in Florida. Now Hard Rock Bet is legal in Florida. Legal in Florida. It's safe, it's legal. We'll repeat that it is legal. Top bet is sports book and it's the only one that's legal. Get a no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMITTED. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navage n-a-v-a-g-e 
Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good morning, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, a cold front will push through, bringing with it increasing shower chances. A few rumbles of thunder can't be rolled out, but overall, we're looking at some scattered downpours, mainly during the late morning, early afternoon. This will give way to increasing sunshine by later this afternoon. Temperatures today won't be quite as warm, with highs in the upper 70s for tomorrow. Sunshine, pleasant temperatures, a high of 76. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Trek Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. All rise. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida. Triple R, Russ Ray Rollins! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple R 7 to 7 brought to you by HBNUSA.com. HBNUSA.com. That's Home Builders Network, USA.com. My buddy Mike, Mike the Home Builder, does a great job. He can build an entire house, but he really specializes in roofs. He can patch your roof. He can get you a brand new roof. He does windows, he does doors, he does the gutters, the custom-made gutters to go around the house. He also put the covers on the gutters. Does a great job with that, but you need someone you can trust. That's the guy. It's uh, Mike from MyHomeBuildersNetwork.com. Great installation, excellent service, really good dude. It's HBNUSA.com. HBNUSA.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Russ, along with Angel and Ryan. We got Daisy Del Toro here with us today. Hello, Daisy. Good morning. And also Monster Music Man Matt is here with us. Matt, Hello. good morning. Appreciate you coming in, buddy. Thank you for bringing it. You always bring, uh, he always brings us breakfast. Which uh, makes everybody happy. I appreciate right? that, but I appreciate uh, Daisy more because she always brings tequila. Oh, oh look at this. I, 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 you know, I got right you. here. I, I, didn't, there you. Go. I didn't look at it that way. You're right. She does. You're, you are correct. <laughs> Daisy, good seeing you. You doing well? Sorry, I'm preacher. Doing I'm awesome. a center. We got some monster. We got some monster <laughs> business to do today with you. So we'll do it live on the air. We got some. We got. Some, we got some figuring out to do. Oh yes. For, I, for oh, Cinco. Yeah. Okay. So we oh, got. Yeah. We got to figure that out. But we'll do that here in a second. Let's. Uh, let's see who we have on the line to play trivia. Angel. We got a couple lines open, and remember, we got uh, tickets to Stone Temple Pilots. We got Orlando City tickets available. Oh yeah! Uh, but we're going to go with Laura, Laura. from Tra- uh, Traveris. All right, and if you want to call, there are a couple lines open. Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Laura, how you doing? Good morning. I'm well. How are you guys? I am wonderful. Uh, Laura, I have a trivia question for you. And if you get it right, you're the queen, Queen Laura. You get to plug and promote whatever's important to you. And uh, you take whatever prize you want. If you don't get it right, don't worry. You've got some people here that can help you, like a lifeline. You could have either Ryan or Angel or Daisy or Matt get it right for you. Are you ready, Laura? All ready. 
All right, here we go. 25 years ago today, in 1999, this brilliant animated TV series premiered on Fox. It lasted for seven seasons. It's been revived on Hulu, but without one of the guys uh, who was the main character, his voice isn't in it, but it has been revived. Name the TV show that uh, started 25 years ago today. Oh, my gosh. An animated show? Animated uh, show on Fox. Okay, so I was going to go with The Simpsons, but you said it only ran seven seasons, so that's out. Right. Um, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. Uh, any, any name that comes to your mind, and then you can have somebody help you out. Uh, um, Five. What, was, wasn't there one about dinosaurs, the dinosaur people? The dinosaur people. It is not. It the, was dinosaurs. It yeah. is not the dinosaur people. Uh, who do you want? Not to, the mama. Who do you not want to mama. help you? You've got uh, Angel. You've got Ryan. You've got Daisy or Matt. Uh, uh, how about Angel? Angel Rivera. He's answering the phone. Hold on, we gotta get him back. He, he's he's trying to answer the phone. He's busy. Way to bother him. Hold on. Let's get. We'll get him back here in a second, Laura. Hold on. Man. Hold on. Yeah, she asked for him right as he's answering the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too bad, Laura, because I know it. Uh, so oh wow! I'm so confident right now. He thinks he knows it, but uh, let's see if Angel does. Hold on. Wait, did you cheat? I no. saw you looking at your phone. I was looking at the chat, Daisy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. All right, Angel. <laughs> a- Angel, she picked you, buddy. Uh, uh, Laura picked you to get it right for her. Once again, Angel, here it is. What? 25 years ago today, in 1999, <laughs> this brilliant animated TV series premiered on Fox. It lasted seven seasons. Now it's been revived on Hulu, but one of the main characters, uh, the, the the voice of one of the main characters, is not on there, which is uh, I guess controversial what tv show are we talking about oh man uh she picked me she did pick you, <laughs> she did pick you. 1999 19, i'm gonna tell you this right now because i like laura and i like you i'm gonna tell you you've mentioned the show in the first uh hour <gasps> south park south park is incorrect oh. i'm so sorry oh. who, we, who, who we got up next angel uh, Manny from Orlando. All right, Manny, you're on with the monsters. How you doing, Manny? Hey. Sorry, Laura. Uh, Manny, 25 years ago today, in 1999, this brilliant animated TV series premiered on Fox. Which one are we talking about? It was around for five or for seven seasons. Futurama. Futurama is correct. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'm no? literally <laughs> mad at myself right now. You said I, it. You said it in the I opening. I drew a blank. Like, I, I really just. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Laura, I am so sorry. Yeah, you said it earlier. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god, he knows my damn uh, trivia question I'm asking today, <laughs> uh, which is funny. Fu- Laura, I'm a son. I am a son of a bitch. I apologize. Now, you know what? I never watched. I, I, I saw an episode or two of Futurama. I didn't realize it was Seth MacFarlane. So, like, I, I probably should go back and watch that, right? What do you think, Ryan? Do you think he'll dig it? No. No, why not? <laughs> no, you, you would not like Futurama. Why Why is it? Why, why you say? It's just not for you. Okay. I know. I, I, I feel like I know Russ Rollins. I feel like I, R- I can't give Russ, you an exact answer, but this is not for you. You got homework. Ryan and I both are protecting things that we love. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? So mine is sunny in Philadelphia, and uh, Ryan's is uh, Futurama. If, when you get a chance over the weekend, if you got some a uh, couple hours to spare, maybe even today. Just try it. Watch an episode of each one of those, and then, and then see what you think of it. So right, it's back now on Hulu. But the guy, yeah, who's boy, the voice? Uh, Bender, the guy that does Bender. Which oh wow! Joe, the guy's name was like I always want to call him Joe DiMaggio, <laughs> but it, I, it's something close to that too. It's the guy that plays Bender, and uh, they, they couldn't get him to come back and do. I, mean, I can't imagine he's that busy. Uh, we're talking money problems, Russ. Uh, yeah, th- that's basically he wanted more. I think I think that's how it went down. I remember it's been so long since I read about this, but uh, there was some kind of issue to, regarding pay, and uh-huh. uh, he didn't like it, so he didn't come back. I'll be damned, huh? Well, wow. now uh, Russ, did you ever like King of the Hill? I did. Yeah, King of the Hill was great. Well, then he might like Futurama. No. No? No. Well, can you tell me the, why you being so... Too, uh, so, too fantastical. Uh, <laughs> fantastical. Yeah. Not I, grounded enough? Not grounded enough. I don't know. I I, I, I just don't see it. I, I do. I, I got to tell you, after watching Ted yesterday, I'm like, I got to wa- watch everything I can with Seth, Seth McFarlane because the guy is really funny. So I, I, didn't, I didn't realize this was his. What, was the other sh- what were the other shows you said were his, uh, Angel? 
Uh, Seth's family guy. A family guy. Family guy. Well, that's funny too. Oh, yeah. family guy is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. Did you know the answer to this one? Heck uh, no. No, you didn't know. I that? have no idea. Did I thought you, it was King of the Hill. You thought it was King of the Hill. Yeah. Oh, see. So oh, no. you would have done a big. Oh. I would have been a Brad's drink. Yeah. Oh, I know. The, I know the answer. I yeah. know the answer. And yeah. I was bam, so confident. You got it wrong. Yeah. Futurama right. yeah. is a great show. I wish they never brought it back though. That that's one of those shows. I'm like, if you're not gonna do it, do it right. Like, and it's such of its time. I mean, like. Now, I I knew it because you said 1999, and the big uh, the big uh, opener of that show is them him being frozen on New Year's Eve 1999 and waking up in 2099. Hey, by the way, the uh, oh. texting service checking in, and they're saying that Futurama is not from Seth MacFarlane. It's from the people that do the, the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah. So the clarification would be that, uh, yeah, Matt Groening uh, made, is, it's his, his thing, and we were talking, because what you had mentioned was that you had liked the writing of the, uh, Ted and everything. Right. And there has been a time where Seth has written uh, stuff for Futurama. Oh, so that's you. where the... You know, clarification. That, 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 all right. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a little break. We got Manny. Oh, you're already drinking tequila. <laughs> Her <laughs> own tequila. At 710, she's into tequila. That's it's good. It's breakfast. Daisy you know downstairs <laughs> is like, I'm, like, she's like, I'm a little bit tired right now. Should I do some jumping jacks? And I'm like, just drink the tequila. I respect right. that. I respect I that. We should have her do jumping jacks. Actually, <laughs> also do the jumping jacks. Yeah. yeah. On oh, camera. Oh, together. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Do, them, do, them in, do chair jumping jacks right in the camera. Let me see. There oh, we God, go. no. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manny, we're going to put you on hold. When we come back. We'll find out what's important to you. You can plug and promote whatever you want. And uh, and uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. <laughs> oh, no. He shouldn't. Something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. We have very slow traffic eastbound on I-4 from before U.S. 27 to State Road 429. And we're also heavy from Osceola Parkway to State Road 535. Westbound I-4 is slowing down near Lake Mary Boulevard. Have a crash in the right lane westbound on the 408 at Good Homes Road. And an overturned vehicle at Dirksen Drive just west of I-4 at Sunrise Boulevard. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by RC Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. At International Diamond Center, their diamonds don't just sparkle, they come to life. The diamond doesn't smile at you, don't buy it. The diamond's got to talk to you. IDC owner Keith LeClaire says the reason his diamonds have this magical quality is because every diamond at IDC has passed through the highest possible quality control standards and chosen for maximum beauty. You're seeing the brilliance and the scintillation. There's no obstruction in that diamond. There's no internal graining. There's no clouds. An IDC diamond is better because, pure and simple, we put the time, the effort, of selecting only the best. Every diamond is going to be handpicked by us. We're looking for nothing but the top, top, top percent. So there's never any cutting corners, no compromising, no settling for an okay diamond. Let's be critical. Let's pick the best and deliver the best we can. We do all the hard work in the beginning. Is that diamond you're about to buy just okay? Or does it speak to you? Come to IDC and listen before you buy. Anybody that sees it on her hand, they're going to be on. Where'd you get that diamond? International Diamond Center for Orlando Locations. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. 
That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-511-3535. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider, 800-511-3535. That's 800-511-3535. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-511-3535. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions, or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty, or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. D app download and registration required. Nothing adds crunch to a salad quite like a fresh bell pepper. If the bell peppers you're buying don't sound like this, then they're not fresh from Florida. Florida bell peppers are grown right here in the Sunshine State by our hardworking local farmers. That means they're fresher, crisper, and have a way better bell peppers are in season now. So look for the Fresh from Florida logo or ask for it by name where you shop. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every to thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Mornings, we're Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. Tomorrow, tickets go on sale for the Monster Brew Bus. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Tickets go on sale tomorrow on Good Friday at 10 a.m. We want to thank Wasi's Meat Market for making it happen. We're very excited because there's going to be three stops on the Monster Brew Bus. Monster Brew Bus is going to set sail on April the 13th. It's a Saturday. We're going to go to Brewlando Brewing is the first stop. Be there about, uh, what was it, like 11.45? I can put the times down so I can remember. We had the times. I, I, I have a, a new uh, sheet of paper. I didn't have the times. But what was the again, Angel? Like the first stop is 11.45, I think. Yeah. 
All right, let me write that down so I can keep saying it. We'll get there when we get there. And We're then, drinking. Well, I want the listeners to know that if they didn't get on the bus, when they can stop by and hang out with us. They so. should have paid to get on the bus. Maybe got jobs, YouTubers. Second stop. When's the second stop at Toll Road Brewing, Angel? I'm getting that for you right now. So uh, we'll be arriving at uh, Brewlando about 1130. Uh, we're going to be getting to Toll Road Brewing Company at about 145. 145. And then we'll be getting to... Uh, uh, Claremont, Claremont Brewing um, at four. At four p.m. All right, yeah. four. Okay, okay. There you go. And then, um, uh, have you talked to the people at Claremont Brewing yet? I have not, sir. Oh, you need to call them. You uh, got it. Uh, but anyway, uh, so anyway, uh, yeah. That, that that's uh, the whole day. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. If you can get on the bus, get on the bus. Uh, but if you don't get on the bus, you can meet us at one of those locations. And uh, the, you know, you get a monster T-shirt. You get lunch. You, we all get to party together. I got to uh, give a shout out already to uh, Toll Road Brewing. Uh, they're stepping up and doing something really cool for us when we get there. It's a little, uh, a little something extra that they're uh, providing for the actual uh, participants that are on the bus. Like what? Uh, it's a surprise. Oh, okay. It's a surprise. Yeah. Damn it. I hate surprises. Oh, it better be a stripper. That would be really fun. Okay, Can so that's a that's a different bus, bus uh, uh, Daisy. And, oh, uh, that's and, the and, bus. And, yeah, and I'm down to we'll plan that too. Wouldn't that be great? Absolutely, boob stripper bus. <laughs> so, Daisy, you schedule that. We'll we'll, we'll get the sign off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It'll be fun. You should you should go to one of the stops if you want to. Or yeah, I mean it, it, it'd be fun. You you'd enjoy meeting everybody. I, I like beer. You do. So I might do it just okay. to go drink beer. You drink? <laughs> She's already drinking tequila. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, Russ and Bo and Ryan and Angel and Jack are all for sure gonna be on the bus. We'll see if we can get to other folks on the bus. I don't know if you want to do a whole bus day or not. Not a whole day, <laughs> but I'll come and drink beer somewhere. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. One of the locations. That'd be great. Uh, people would love to see you. Uh, uh, Monster Matt might be out at the last stop. We'll, so that'd be a good one to, to go to in Claremont. But uh, there, all three of them are gonna be great stops. So we'll figure that out. But uh, tickets going sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Is Manny on the line? He sure is. Manny, congratulations. You are a winner, buddy. What's going on? Hey, thank you, guys. Hey, man, thank you. What prize did you take with you? Uh, the uh, Stuntable the Pilot tickets. One. Okay, yeah. Stuntable Pilot. Very nice. How long have you been listening to the show, Manny? Um, oof, since 2012. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a long time. We appreciate the support and listening so long. Thank you so much. What do you do for a living, bud? Um, I own Isla Divers, the dive shop in Castleberry. Okay. Oh yeah, we met you at uh, the bike drive at Exploria Stadium. Yep. You guys continued the debate on whether it's called Isla Divers or Isla Divers. I think about you all the time. Every time I see the word Isla, I go, there's that dive shop that doesn't even know their own name. Right, right, right. So so my wife really thinks about you guys, too, because the next day you guys were still debating over the name. And uh, you called her, I believe, Cynthia and Cindy, and her name is Wendy. So <laughs> no! Well. Manny, what, what you'll learn is we get a lot of stuff wrong. I mean, a lot of stuff we get wrong. Uh, but, Manny, okay, let me ask a question. So how long have you had the, the dive shop? Because, obviously, there's not a whole lot of – I mean, we're not near the coast, so it, it, was it difficult to Russ, open a dive shop? you never heard of cave, a cave diving in Castleberry? Yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> so how long have you had the dive shop? So we have had that location for a year and a half now, a little over a year and a half. But we've been instructing for the last eight years. Okay, and and so yeah. uh, and so and you've been an instructor, and then you decide to open up your own dive shop. Yep, yep, that is correct. I, you know, uh, when I, I mean, this is a long, long time ago. My, me and my buddy Bo, we both, uh, you know, went to a dive shop. This was over on Edgewater Drive, like way back. Uh, I, gosh, it must have been eighty. Six or something like that. That would have been the dive station. Yes, it was the dive station exactly. Yeah. And they take you in a pool and you learn. And I remember being so excited about it. And we did our first several dives. And then on I think my fourth dive or whatever, it was my uh, my first wife actually was with uh, Bo and I. And we started to go down. And something happened. And and her uh, mask started to get, get you know messed up. And she started to kind of flip out a little bit. And and she lost her breathing apparatus. And I had to take mine out and uh, help her breathe back. And it, we were halfway down, and we were going down to a, a shipwreck or whatever, and it scared me so much. Now, I was okay, but I, like, I was afraid for her that I, I, that was my, the last time I went diving. So a super scare like that freaked me out. But um, 
I know, I know. I, I should have uh, should have manned up. But uh, how long have you been diving? Uh, I've been diving since 2013. Have you ever had a scare like that? Um, myself, no. I have had students have scares like that. I've seen people that have scares like that. We see it. Yeah. Um, but, you, you know, you just overcome the fear and, and continue and move forward. I mean, it's a, it's a great sport. It really is. It really is. It, it's ama- I mean, I remember being amazed by it. When you go down, you realize, my God, there's a whole different world down there that you can't even imagine. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, another thing that seemed to be an issue that people didn't realize, and that's uh, being seasick. Uh, do you deal with that a lot when people go out for the first time in a small boat? And because uh, I got all of us got seasick, but then once you get in the water and you dive down, it goes away. So you feel OK when you're diving, but then you get back yep. up on the ship and then you and then you, you feel sick again. Yep, yep, yep. So there's certain things you can do. There's certain medications you can take. There's, you know, therapeutic things you can do to, to, to help with the seasickness. It'll always be there. But, you know, if you dive a lot, if you're on the boat a lot, um, you, you tend to get used to it. Yeah. Don't get sick as much. Hey, hey, Manny, what's the what's the age range of most of the people that you teach to dive? Like, is is it usually oh, much younger? Is it older? Like, what? what you'd, what's, you'd be surprised. We train. I, our youngest has been eight years old. Oh. Although for certification, it must be ten. Um, <laughs> and then the oldest, I think I've trained, is like a seventy-seven-year-old. Oh wow! So, and and we train everyone in between that. There's no average number. It is fun. Uh, you kind of make me want. You kind of make me want to do it again. Yes, Angel. Question for Manny, who owns a, a Isla Dive in uh, Isla. Isla Dive. Isla. That's a. That makes Wendy happy when you say Isla. Isla Divers. <laughs> Isla Divers. Uh, shout out to Wendy. Uh, I apologize for I getting you, uh, Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, let me ask you this, all right? Because this is one of the things yeah. about living in Florida. Now, I get it. There's offshore diving and everything. But as far as, as, like, as skill level, because this is one of the places that I've always wanted to visit, but I've never done it because I feel like I, I wouldn't get to experience – how beautiful it is. I've always seen the images and the pictures of the Devil's Den in Florida. Yeah, and, and, and it looks like every image I've ever seen, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's definitely on my list of things that I want to go see. But if I'm not diving, I feel like I would be like missing out on, on the beauty of it. So like a, a dive like that, what kind of skill level do you need to be? Or is it even worth going up there if you're not diving? Um, it is. I mean, it's always full of snorkelers. People travel from all over the world to go to Devil's Den. Um, honestly, Angel, we can set it up where we can take you out there a day, put you in the pool, get you a little bit of training. And that same day, we can take you down to up to 30 feet and, and show you around down there. Do you laugh at the snorkelers? I would. I mean, like, 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 like <laughs> you can't shape snorkelers. You snorkeler. We're <laughs> divers. I, I, don't, I don't want people to not like me, so I'm going to say snorkelers are cool. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. Hey, what, what's, what's the furthest you've uh, you've dove? Um, so far, I've reached 215 <gasps> feet, I believe it is. Uh, it's on my computer. 215 feet, and I was doing a dive off the shore of Pompano. Man. Uh, a wreck called the Orion. Many God, I, I the, the furthest I went down was ninety feet, and I remember being ninety feet down and then looking up and realizing actual oxygen is way up there. And, 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 and my mind started. Mm-hmm. And I, I did freak. I don't want to say freak out, but I do remember having these weird thoughts. Like, man, I am ninety feet away from real oxygen, and and it does it does play. How do you get over that? How do you get over realizing? I mean, if you're two hundred feet down, man, you, there's. N- it's almost impossible. If, if your air went out, you're done, right? So so proper training, like number one, proper training, proper training, proper equipment, um, and just go diving. Just, I mean, the more you dive, the better you get at it, especially with proper training. I'm at, I'm almost at 9,000 dives in all these years. Okay. I have done a lot of diving. What's your, um, what's your, not, Manny, I'm, what would be your goal? Like, is there a, all right, so you're almost at 9,000 dives. You've had tons of experiences. Is there, like, a, a benchmark, or is there something that you're shooting for when you're doing this? Is there, a, like, a, a depth that you're trying to get to? No, I don't look at depth anymore. I mean, yeah, there's there's stuff that I want to do, but my main focus right now is getting as many people trained properly gotcha. as possible. Gotcha. Like, that. like that, that's what we, we want to do. And then take you diving. It's not just about the training. Do you, um, you know, we do trips as well, so it, it's it's about keeping 
divers diving, training them, keeping them diving. Do you do, you do cave diving? Uh, I am. I am a full cave diver. <sighs> We're actually, I'm driving up to Jenny Springs now. We have a big event this weekend, an Easter, uh, Easter event. Yeah, it's uh, cool. And there are some, yeah, there are some caves here. So in between the, the events, when I get a time to uh, run away, my cave buddy and I are going to go get a cave diving. I got a cave I, I, Actually, I've been to Jenny Springs. Well, it is beautiful there. What? It really is. Matt, yeah. Matt you got a question for uh, Manny. What? Manny, I've never been into diving because TV in the 80s made me petrified of the bends. Can you tell me about that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so never hold your breath. Stay within the time limit. Uh, you know, nowadays we have computers. Uh, they can be relatively inexpensive, uh, you know, or, or they can be very expensive. It depends on what you want. Um, and stick to the training. Uh, in Okay, in all those dives, I... You know, I'm very thankful. I've never had an accident. Wow. You know, statistics at this point should show that, you know, something should have happened by now. But well, enjoy your cave dive later. Training, <laughs> stay within the limits. You know, dive within the limits of your training. Right. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you'll be safe. Hey, how, how safer, is safer, how is not safe. how is technology changed? I mean, like the last time I did it, I can say it was like 80, right. 86, right? Yeah, you're so using dive tables. How, how is yeah? How is uh, how how you is didn't have the watch? Did you? The technology changed since uh, I've been in uh, 85, 86. Sweep the leg. Okay, yeah. So you use probably the the, the little round disc yes. or a dive table. Yes. Um, today I use a wrist computer that I'm wearing right now that's monitoring my heart. Oh, that's bad. Uh, and I keep that guy on, and it, I go down and do my dive, and it tracks my dime, my time, my depth, my no decompression limit. That's what keeps me out of getting the bends, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it tracks all that. comes back to the surface, tells me where I did my dive, gives me a complete profile, and transfers to my phone automatically. Look at like, that. As soon as it, I end the dive, it that goes was, right to my phone. That was the day. So imagine this. Back then, like, you had a dive table, and so you're yeah. down there, and me and Bo were trying to do math. In order, to fool, oh, wow. in order to make no. sure that we don't die, right? And like, like and that scared me as well, to be honest with you. So, so maybe the new technology would make it a lot more fun. Uh, Ryan, question for yeah, uh, was the last time you dove, Ryan? You're a, a, a oh, licensed right. uh, bell diver, deep diver, diver, diver. I have, uh, I, I have. Uh, well, what was you're, my you're a master diver. That's <laughs> no, what it is. Yes, no, my mom yes. was a dive master. I have, uh, I have rescue diver was my highest certification. Oh, look at two bright. And, uh, you, I, were, you were a rescue diver. Oh, well, I had the certification for it. So I had to do all the, the training on, like, how to how to rescue somebody. And uh, <laughs> it, it only helped me one time at a Catababa's where a lady was choking. Uh, and it, I, I was I instantly went back to my dive training. And I was like, oh, I know how to fix this. And I saved her life. But it was above it was above water at an Italian restaurant. Uh <laughs> No, I haven't been di- last time I went diving was probably 10 plus years ago uh, and I was in the Dominican Republic using rented equipment and I almost died Those 90 are all feet your down. mistakes. Of course. No, not my mistakes. There was an O-ring that had a leak in it and oh. uh, I, I didn't realize you. it. So I was I was all of a sudden I started losing air very fast. My dive buddy was a crazy German man who is not staying with me. Uh, and I had to like, I had to race like as fast as I could, 80 feet down, to try to catch him. I'm banging on my tank. He's not turning around, and I finally am like able to grab the end of his fin in front of me, and I have to like, now we both have to use his air to go up. And oh, he that's seemed, scary. Yeah, no, and he seemed very bothered by that. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Manny. So what? What is your? What? What? What do you think is for like a beginner or whatever? Your favorite dive? Like, do you like going down to? Uh, I, don't yeah, know, I like, like going down. Like uh, uh, West, West I, Palm, <laughs> or over to uh, Sanibel, or to like uh, a spring? Like, what? What do you think is the best <laughs> dive for a beginner? Um, I, so there's a bridge down in West Palm Beach. It's called uh, Blue Heron Bridge. Yeah, uh, yeah, Hill that Park comes up. Uh, that's another one that comes up on the list. Yeah, man. We, we went there. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like the it's only beautiful. thing. Oh, sorry. The only thing I would have used for this, I would think, go train Mexicans so that they don't have to swim over the river. They could just swim. Over. <laughs> like this would be so simple. Yeah, I don't if, know. They, if they all just learned to we dive, we got people suffering for no reason, man. You got the technology and the training here. If I made a Mexican uh, dive team joke, we'd be canceled right now. <laughs> I love the idea. Yeah. She can I say that idea. she's Mexican. That's it's fine. Right. Yeah, it's it, okay. I appreciate you doing it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we do teach the course in Spanish as well, so we got See? the baby. Oh, Boom. Look at that. Very you good. You could be saving lives right now. Manny, if you get a chance, man, uh, if you remember this, uh, have uh, your wife, Cindy, 
um, email me, angel <laughs> at realradio.fm. I'm definitely interested in doing that, what you talked about, doing that a basic yeah. level dive, learn how to do that. Because, like, again, on my th- wish list or on my list of things to do in Florida, I just want to visit uh, the Devil's Den. Hey, Manny, for oh, Angel, since you. he's a, like a, since he's a giant, do you need, like, <laughs> do you need wow. bigger, do you need, like, bigger tanks? Bigger he's got, fins. He's got bigger lungs, like, uh, or do you just, does he use the I same like tank I use? <laughs> so we we have equipment that uh, is customizable to fit people of all sizes, including Angel. He just won't need fins with feet that big, but you know he'll be fine. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> what, what, if someone, what if someone's like really fragile with little skinny legs and stuff? Do you give him like a smaller tank, like a little baby tank uh, for Ryan? Sir, I yes, was a rescue we diver. We, we we do have tanks that'll fit Ryan as well. They're they're little tiny forty. Hey, what if somebody's so big they don't need a weight belt at all? <laughs> <laughs> and then they just, you know, because they're, they're used to just sinking in the water. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think I would float by myself anyway, so I don't think I hey. need anything. <laughs> Daisy would need a lot of weight, yeah. <laughs> and Manny, so, Manny, that's still a thing. You have, to, you have to put the weights around the weight belt and all that, right? No, not around the weight belt. That's old school stuff. All the uh, BCs are integrated now, so there's pockets that slide right into the, oh. into the BC. Yeah, I, I come from the day where you have a belt, right, and you had to slide these big metal things on. Russ, did you have that big helmet with, like, a glass, like, <laughs> oh, I hole wish. in the front? Like, I wish. I, I kept asking for that, but I, I couldn't like get one. Like a dive bell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dive bell, yeah, yeah. But we went down to, I mean, to, to go- clarify, those, those are still there. The, the slides are still there. Like, they're still belts as well, but. So, you know, is, are, are there still shipwrecks down in West Palm that you can go down and go into the shipwreck and stuff? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we discourage going into the shipwreck without proper training. Yeah. Um, but, yes, there are a lot of shipwrecks down there. We actually, every month, we go down to Pompano, uh, one week in a month, every, and we do uh, we do wrecks, we do uh, lobstering, we do, like, next month we're doing lionfish derby. And, man, uh, so, Manny, yeah. what's, what's scary about a, a shipwreck is you go down, right, and you don't know what is in the ship. So so I, I remember going down and going, oh, and some people were going inside. And I'm like, I am not going in there. There could be a shark. There could be some sort of, uh, I don't know, sea monster in there. Russ, did, didn't you share a story, Russ, or when you were doing the dives? There, what's another one? One of the other ones here in the state of Florida is the, uh, the dive where you see, like, Touchdown Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's that one? That, uh, that's, that's down in, key, uh, it's in, in the Keys. keys. You, yeah. did, you did that one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I want to see Touchdown Jesus, too. Touchdown There's Jesus. a couple in my church who got yeah. married in front of him. Christ of the Abyss. Really? That's yeah. it. Christ that's it, Manny. Yeah, Christ that's it. Abyss. Christ so, of the Abyss. Well, Manny, thank you so much for calling today. Thank hey, you let him for, give out his contact info. Th- yeah, thank you for listening for so long. We sure do appreciate it. If anybody wants to learn how to dive, uh, give out your number so they can give you a call. Okay, so the store number is uh, 321 Nine seven two eight nine eight one. They can also email us at info at isla divers or isla divers <laughs> dot com. Um, and uh, we're you know we're right in Castleberry, seventeen ninety two and four thirty six. Isla Divers. Very yeah, nice, man. That's cool. It, it really is. I am glad that I did it. I just got so scared that last time. But to see what it looks like right. under the ocean is, is absolutely amazing. Uh, Manny, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, brother. Hey, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Have All a good right. one. All right, take care. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning and happy Thursday. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, a cold front moves through and that will help to spark some scattered showers and downpours. A few rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out, but severe weather is not expected. However, some heavy downpours will be possible at times. These showers will clear out during the early afternoon, giving way to increasing sunshine and pleasant temperatures just in time for our Friday and into the weekend. I have 76 with sunshine for your Friday, 80s through the weekend. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Man, this is the time of year where you can enjoy your life, right? It's going to be super nice this weekend. Weather's going to be beautiful, and if you have knee pain, back pain, or shoulder pain, you're probably just going to sit on the couch or sit in a chair because you don't feel 
you, you don't feel like getting out and moving around because it hurts. Well, you can get rid of that pain with QC Kinetics. Now, you might have gone to a doctor, and the doctor might have said, listen, with, for your arthritis problem, you have to have surgery, or we can give you painkillers or whatever. That is not the only solution. QC Kinetics, can, they've literally transformed lives because their advanced treatments are Harness your body's own ability to restore and repair damaged tissue, uh, that jo- the joint tissue. And uh, you know, pro athletes have been doing this for decades now. You now can do it and have these treatments and get rid of that pain and you get right back to work. You don't have to have like a month off work after having knee surgery. And that happens to a lot of people. You don't want to have to deal with that. You'll miss out a lot of money. You save money uh, by going to UQC Kinetics. They've got financing available and there's no pain pills, no risky surgery, and it's an all-natural solution to getting out and moving again and enjoying the spring and the summer. QC Kinetics. Here's the phone number. Now, I just went to the, one of the locations. I went to the Lake Mary location, and what a bunch of nice people that really, really do care about helping you, you know, get moving again. Super great folks. There's Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and now in Lake Mary. Here's the phone number for a free consultation, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980 for QC Kinetics. Kings, Kings, Kings. Get an alarm clock! Get a rooster! Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on. Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, onefirmforlife.com. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to MillsAir.com. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. 
sunny side air conditioning. Uh, yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So, if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd called Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Radio. Radio. smart speaker if you do tell your smart speaker to play real radio 104.1 and iHeartRadio. matter of fact if you've got uh, if you're in an office and all the people in the office have a smart speaker sneak in their office and just say hey play real radio 104.1 and iHeartRadio and turn everyone's on <laughs> that'd be awesome we appreciate that what's up i'm russ along with angel and ryan and uh, daisy del toro here with us today and matt the music man we're making plans for some upcoming events that we're doing but before we do that i want to talk to angel about uh, so are you seriously considering Taking diving lessons because I, 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 as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I remember I really did enjoy it, but that one scare freaked me out. I really am. Um, and uh, so getting some feedback about uh, Devil's Den, for example. So uh, maybe diving, diving is necessary to do that place you can snorkel but i do want to learn how to dive and i and i really want to have that conversation with manny and again it has to do with uh the things that i love about the state of florida and there's some really really cool things and i've seen images from devil's den forever and it's yeah. always been on that list of places that you've got to visit yeah and i never took it like i never acted on it because i always felt like well if I can't dive, then I'm probably going to miss out on how cool the place is. That's you know right. what I mean? And so, and then the the other places that he mentioned again, if down in the Keys, like how can you go to the Keys and not go to see um, what was it, Jesus of the Abyss? Jesus of the Abyss. Yeah. So those are th like those are things that I, w I want to experience. And again, it has to do because I just love the state of Florida. You know, Daisy, you need to do it too. You need to learn how to dive. Listen, I was going <laughs> to say that you were being negative when you said about going down in the uh, wreckings or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, why don't you think positive and you find a mermaid, fall in love, and like Aww. have a sixth wife oh, look already? Look at that. Oh, yes, you yeah, could, you be could find positive. a mermaid. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, you know? You go down. You went, I remember going down, and it was a shipwreck. Hell yeah. And, and the <laughs> ship was kind of broken up, right? So th th you could go into one part of it, and some people were going in part. And I just got, I'm like, man, there could be a shark hiding in there or some crazy ass octopus. You never know. Holmesy, uh, how many times have you done? Thousands. I mean, oh, literally. Okay. Yeah. You know what? No I, 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 I'm mad at myself for asking him. Yeah, I I, yeah, yeah. Uh, the only uh, thing I've done <laughs> is um, 
grabbing oysters. Okay. Uh, but no, no, it's not oysters. The ones that are like really scallops. Close. Scallops. scallops. Thank you. So yeah. I've done scalloping, you which is scallop. not very dangerous. Like you just go right there. Vicious scallop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, my a grandmother man. was killed by a scallop. Oh, Don't make light of it. A wild scallop. At might least get I you. tried. Okay. Yeah. I was underwater. Matt, do you think you ever go uh, go diving? I can't do it, Russ. I'm too scared. I will ride a motorcycle on I four before I go under what? the water like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, both of those that are is scary. statistically more dangerous. It I is. did skydiving. You did? Yeah. Wow. I can't imagine you skydiving. Oh, it was so much fun. You got a see, video of it? I, I will not I, do that. I, I How'd you do. see anything I, with them oh, teasing the face? <laughs> I have a picture and a video, and my skin was like, I look like I was 100 years old because, like, your skin is all, like, flopping it and stuff. It flaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, flaps. Yeah. It looks so horrible. How long ago was that? Like, oh, 20 years ago. Oh, 20 years ago. Okay. <laughs> Before I had kids, because now I'm scared, because I'm like, who am I going to leave them to? Oh. <laughs> the closest I get to diving, Russ, is Wait, Diver Dan. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Matt, Matt, who's going to take care of the, uh, who, who gonna am I going to leave them to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like where, where's my dog going to go after, if I die? I can't die until they're grown, okay? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, yeah, mm. that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, yeah. That came out So, I, so I think, are you really going really to do this, Angel? I, I, I Yeah, there's a, a list that I'm working on for this year. Uh, this is one of the things that I want to do. Another one of the things that I wanted to do for this year is uh, there's a uh, drifting academy in Dallas Ooh. or outside of Dallas. Yeah. Uh, Texas Drifting Academy. And so I've been in communication with them, and I'm probably going to head out there sometime later on this year and spend a weekend with, uh, with them uh, throwing their cars around. Ooh. Okay. So, right. yeah. So, again, I I, I really do. I want to have this. Uh, like I had, I'm, I'll hit up Manny afterwards, and I, I really do want to have this uh, uh, conversation. Because, again, it's just one of the ways that you can show and talk about uh, the state of Florida and, and and the neat things that Florida has to, to offer, you know? You know, for being a, a, a so-called rescue diver, Ryan didn't have much to say about any of this diving. He, he like, was he, totally talk, quiet during totally the whole quiet. thing. Yeah. He ain't saying I, much. I was leaning on you. I really wanted to die. I'm going to you mm. to glean off of some of your experience, yeah. and then you want to sit they're like, I'm dial, dove in a million times, and I'm a master you diver. You think Tom Brady wants to talk about football every day? <laughs> wow. I've been there. I've, I've, been, I've been to the den of the devil. I've been to the bluest of springs. You have. I've dived, wow. I've dived them all. <laughs> What's You've your favorite so dive? In fact, I, the, my latest dive was at least uh, two and a half feet down. Okay, where's your, wow. Where's your, I told my wife. It's where, about that. Where's your favorite dive? What are you doing, dude? dude? So my favorite dive that I've ever done is uh, I like doing the little 15 feet dives out by the keys. I think those are actually my favorite because they're easy to do. Oh, yeah. Diving is very cumbersome at the same time as well. There's a lot of equipment. There's a lot of checks you got to do. A lot of cleaning of that equipment when you get done. Oh my god! Uh, no, there is like the dive part's actually probably the shortest part of the whole thing when you when you have to count in like. like Go, go! Actually, taking the boat the 30, 45 minutes out there. See, this is what he you know does. What? He, no, takes don't say that's, he takes something that's beautiful and he and he goes down this. I'm rabbit a hole realist, of, Russ. Oh, laziness realist. trumps adventure, Russ. No, <laughs> I like adventure and things like that. But I, I, I gave up diving because I almost died. It was the closest I've ever been to dying, and I don't know if that's I could do Dominican it again. Dominican Republic dive. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I could do it again because that like legit. I was like, oh, yeah, this is dangerous. It never caught me that it was dangerous before. And I've done, like, night dives where I accidentally landed on some sharks one time. Oh. What the? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I saw a shark. But, but the shark I saw, I saw was, a a, was a nurse shark. I and I guess shark. nurse sharks can't really eat you, I don't guess. They will F with you, though. But it looks like it's in the shape of a shark. So when you're underwater yeah. and you see something in the shape of a shark, they'll still it will freak you they'll out. They'll still attack you and bump you if you land on them at, uh, you know, with 1 o'clock in the morning in Daytona. I got out of the water as fast as I could when I saw yeah. a shark. I, it, it, yeah, um, it, it's like it's fun, but like I would only do a shallow dive uh, if I got back into it. So what does again. that mean? Like how do like 15, 20 like 15, feet? 20 feet, yeah. but uh, which is still you, it could still be like he was right when he says it, nothing is safe. It's just you know it's safer. Gotcha. Because uh, I've seen some I've Fur. seen some real things go wrong. My mom got bit by a shark one time, oh, but, that, but that was hilarious. How's that um, funny? Because we were we were under we were doing a dive in the keys, yeah. and there was a lemon shark, and this lemon shark was maybe about two feet maybe three feet long right but it was just chilling it was just like stone cold not moving just sitting yeah and we're like okay that's odd never seen a shark do that so we swim up to it and it's not it doesn't go away from us and we're like real close to the shark so the 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 person i'm diving with grabs its tail and like pushes it that makes sense and pulls it back a little (laughs) bit and then the shark just swims right back to where it was yeah and then he does it again just swims right back to where it was my mom sees this. My mom's like, oh, I want to do that, too. Oh. She comes over, bright pink wetsuit, you know, like, no. comes swimming over, and she, she, she wants, now, now she does it, 
And this shark was like not having it on this third pull and just spins around her. Just bam, bites her on the leg. Oh, my God. And I've never heard anybody scream underwater. Yeah. <laughs> But it's hilarious when they do yeah. because it's very bubbly. <laughs> I'm now choke laughing into my respirator. Uh, did it break, break the skin? It, she, uh, her wetsuit was thick enough to where it did rip the hole through the wetsuit, but didn't actually break the skin. Okay, good, good, good. So, and, like, there's dumb right, stuff like you're that. You're not supposed to laugh at that. That is hilarious. I'm sorry. It's very funny. That is not and then, funny. And then uh, my friend who went diving with us, he, he like, uh, I don't know why he would do this. It's very stupid. We, we had spear fishing guns as well and so there was there was no fish this day i don't know but there's jellyfish everywhere so this yeah. dude oh. he just goes bam shoots a jellyfish i don't condone that felt mean he goes back and uh he goes back up on the boat and he's like you know he's like putting the spear fishing thing back in and then he like rubbed his face and did all that not oh. thinking that like the jellyfish stingers are all over that spear fish so then he's begging for people to pee on him um, Ooh. which doesn't work, it by doesn't the way. It doesn't do anything. It yeah. doesn't work, by the way. But, you know, I thought about it real hard for a minute because I'm like, this might be my only chance. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> you are absolutely I didn't do it. He just suffered for a while, but it's hilarious. Like, these, every time we went diving, some... Not, not nothing life threatening would go wrong, but something would go wonky every single time. Yeah, like whether it's somebody's computer going out or like a, a faulty O ring. So there's a lot that can happen. All right, we gotta take a little break, and then uh, Daisy, I'm glad you're here because we need to make plans for I'll call it Trace de Mayo uh, for uh, because <laughs> it, it, Cinco de Mayo is is a Sunday, but on a Friday we gotta make some plans, and I got some ideas uh... <laughs> that, that might get some attention, <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad Matt is here because he can help with some ideas too uh so uh, we'll make those plans and i told the guys i want to just do this live on the air it's always more fun when we make uh plans live on the air so don't go anywhere you're listening to the monsters of the morning it's like a text message with your voice the talk back feature on the free iheart radio app follow real radio 104.1 tap the microphone and speak from the clausman law traffic center car crash call clausman law Clausmanlaw.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from before U.S. 27 to just before State Route 429. Our soulmate Amy let us know there's a fender bender on the right shoulder causing a lot of rubbernecking delays. The westbound 408 is slow from the Conway East Toll Plaza to just past Mills Avenue because of an accident blocking two right lanes. And there was a hit and run eastbound on Colonial Drive at Good Homes Road. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. All right, let me tell you about Car Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. They want to send you and a friend on the road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend with tickets to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks, and that's going to be on April the 27th. All you got to do is log on to realradio.fm slash contest. You can register to win a pair of lawn tickets, and you get to sit in a Carl Black Chevy Silverado and watch the show. How cool is that? Uh, Carl Black also is going to provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville and give you $200 in spending cash to put in your pocket. That's really cool. And on top of that, they're going to get you deluxe hotel accommodations uh, at the Omni Hotel Nashville. That's one of the reasons I love Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. They got such a great connection with Nashville. That's when I started to fall in love with Nashville. Thanks to Carl Black and my buddy Omar Rodriguez. Good folks over there. If you want to win this incredible uh, trip to Nashville, just go to realradio.fm slash contest. You don't know. You might, might be able to win it, right? Uh, it's Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. They're on East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. CarlBlackOrlando.com is their website, but go to realradio.fm slash contest to win this trip to Nashville. Chevrolet, together, let's drive to Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. 
Orlando's injury attorney. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people, but for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is RC Hill from RC Hill Mitsubishi in the land. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles for gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval here. For details. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's A L S C O. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, Wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Can it keep me warm when I'm cold? Wait, no. I'm always hot. Sleep Number does that. The Climate 360 Smart Bed actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. 94% of Sleep Number Smart Sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. And now save $1,000 on our most popular Sleep Number Smart Bed and Saturday. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GimmeTheVin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. GimmeTheVin.com is AAA rated by the Better Business Bureau and has thousands of positive reviews on Google and Facebook. GimmeTheVin.com, they offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and a free pickup. Just click on GimmeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. GimmeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your eye. Cento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM, HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. My tribute to Cinderella, Russ. What, uh... I, what, what's the song? Because I, 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 I have it in my head. It's probably and, Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Monster Matt, uh, Music Man Matt made these songs for us. We appreciate that, Matt. 
Uh, welcome back to the Monsters in the Morning, Real Radio 104.1. I'm Russ with Ryan and Angel, Daisy Del Toro, uh, Matt here with us. So, uh, Daisy, before we uh, make these plans, I'm uh, just, you know, just wondering, uh, how, how's the dating going? <laughs> I've only gone on one date. Really? That's it. How'd it go? It, it went pretty well. I won't tell the entire story because then if my friends are listening, this will get me in trouble. <laughs> well, 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 what, what did you do? How, how can it get you in trouble? You can't get in trouble for going on a date. Oh, well, depends on how you do the dating. How, how did, how, <laughs> in what way? Okay. Okay. I, don't, I don't know what that go means. On. How did you do the dating? I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't go into too much detail, but I can tell you now. Tell me what. I tried to go the opposite route of dating. Oh, Like how, I thought. What does that mean? I thought I would learn a lot by it, doing what I did, but I learned that's the wrong way to go on the first date. Oh, my God. So, now, we, now we got to know. What no, I can't tell you. Oh, you can't say? This time I can't because, uh, yeah. My friend will be hurt, so yeah. So why would your friend be a second? Be yeah. Uh, uh, don't worry about was, it. Was it a date with your friend? <laughs> no. So, <laughs> did your friend you set you up? So you did a date, and you said it was the wrong approach. Totally speed wrong approach. So like speed dating or something? It, kind of like that. Speed, and, yeah. and you could just say that I didn't realize, I would learn really quickly that when you take out a man yeah. with you uh-huh. for the first time. Yeah. It's not cool to introduce a lot of other women to him. <laughs> I, I just yeah. thought I just thought this would help reduce the amount of knowledge. I'm like, oh, this way I'll know if he's into big boobies or little boobies and stuff. And so you I took him work. to a place where there's a lot of other women. That's right. Well, and I can't figure this out at all. Did he leave with another woman? <laughs> Man, no. I'm not did he leave with another woman? <laughs> no. <laughs> he did not. So you took him to a place. There were a bunch of other women. Did he show interest in the other women, or did he show interest in you? No, he still showed interest in me, but I oh, think... Oh, that's, uh, so that's a good sign. It is. It is. Actually, you know what? Um, I think he asked me on another date, but I was, like, not going to do it. I'm Why? Not, I'm not... Oh. What did he do wrong? Yeah. Every, um, apparently uh, everything. He looked at the boobs. <laughs> no, he didn't. He was good. He was really good. Um, I feel like... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was too good. Maybe oh. that's what's wrong. Oh, so you took oh him to God. some place or whatever, and he w- he was too g- too good, and you were wanting to be wild. Uh, yeah. And he wasn't wild enough for the uh, Daisy Del Toro. That's right. Oh. So you were looking for a wild man. I think, so I he think was this... just being polite and on a first date, and you're like, I do not like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like to yeah. me. He was trying to be respectful. Look, I'm feeling and... nervous now. Like, I yeah. have a stomach. I'm like, oh, gosh. So you didn't respect the fact that, that, that he was being respectful. Like, you didn't that didn't turn you on that he was being respectful. You wanted him to get wild with you i think I'm, try to date. I, I think this time i wanted it to be more fun right uh, uh, I, th- uh. I think that's what happened but first dates aren't supposed to be fun i don't think daisy i think first... i know that's what i realized because you know i haven't <laughs> dated in so long so now i've gone two dates in how many months three months uh-huh. mm-hmm. and i realized that i didn't realize they're not meant to be fun yeah first date is you, you, get, you get to know <laughs> an interview. you don't fast yes. you don't fast forward to um, i don't like crazy it. land on yeah. the first date usually. daisy's just trying to get f <laughs> She ain't trying to date. She ain't trying to be in a relationship. She's trying. She's like, yo, I just turned 40, and that's I'm right. in my flirty 40s. What's up? And that's okay, too. That's what it sounds like. So you sounds learned, like she brought him to an orgy, and he was you, like, I got to go. You learn what not to do, right? To an orgy. So was it, was it unco- like, so, oh so as, you're, as you're trying to get him to, to, to fire up with you, and he's being respectful, you're kind of getting mad. I, was, I wasn't mad. I think I was just expecting... A little bit more enthusiasm. Uh, and he wanted to get to know you. And he wanted to get to know what? me. So oh, I feel, sure. so, I feel uh, sorry for this guy. No, like, he's a, like no, he no, talked to it, me about the family business and what he does and all this kind of stuff. So, and, and me, he's, a, he's a moron. Oh. No, that, that's not him. You got to be self-aware at this moment. You're on mm-hmm. a first date. Your chick takes you to a strip club. I it's, did not take him to a strip it, club. It's <laughs> on. Uh, allegedly. No. no. Allegedly. She took him to a place, can be a strip she club took him to a place where there's a lot of other women. You know she what? Never I, you, said it was a strip you know club. what? You're right. I apologize. That was me embellishing. Uh, yeah, you that, probably exactly. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. that's just me in my. This is what yeah. I heard in yeah. my head. No, she took and him. I'm messed up. She took him to a nunnery, obviously, yeah. uh, where there's just women. Um, <laughs> so he was respectful. You guys are horrible. <laughs> regardless you're of that, horrible. regardless of that, it still stands. You go on a first date. You're going out to a party. Party. There's a party atmosphere going yeah. on, yeah. and the dude doesn't want a party. He wants to talk business. He wanted to That's get to know nah, Screw yeah. that guy. He, you know what? F that guy. <laughs> Cut him off. 
Unfriend Angel, him. He that want, guy is a loser. He was there, though. Oh, like, okay. what, what he, wanted late... to, he wanted it to be a longer relationship. He wanted to get to know you. I, you know what? You know when you have those conversations? When your first date's at the library. <laughs> yeah. Screw that guy. But what kind of ladies were there, Daisy? Was it like ladies named Karen and Susie? No. Or was it your good... Lexus and Mercedes? Stop with your investigation, was, it, was it your good friend <laughs> Peggy? <laughs> was it Mercedes and Lexus and um, Candy? <laughs> cinnamon. Was cinnamon. Was cinnamon there? There? Listen, man, you're not getting to the bottom of this. So, okay, okay oh, so we, then. You're right. We have no idea. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're so close. You don't right know now. Russ. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 you're at, so you're at this thing. You're at this place. We don't know what place it is. We're at a place. And you're wanting to kind of, you know, have fun and party. And he's wanting to just get to know you. And you, you got irritated. And he even asked you out for another date. What and, a moron. And, and, you, and you don't even remember because you had tuned him out. This guy's and dumb. Then That's two, interesting. He's dumb. Two days ago, I went to um to a Mexican consulate, you know, about business and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So then I meet these really hot soccer players, right? Okay. And yeah. the, the one that looks a little bit older, like maybe more closer to my age, uh-huh. I thought, oh, okay, this one's hot, right? So I get close to him, and then he starts talking to me, and he's like, oh, I love that you have tequila, da 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 da. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is interesting. So then. His uncle, which I, is my friend, mm-hmm. and I didn't know it's his nephew, right, comes over and he's like, stop it with your vibrating, okay, what can I call it? Uh, uh, yeah, no, 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 we got it, we got it. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay, your so, vibrating cat. Yeah. Ooh-hoo. Ooh-hoo. That's what he said. And he's like, stop <laughs> with your vibrating weird. cat, that's my nephew, stay away. And I was uh. like... Oh my gosh! Really, I had to pick that one. Like yeah. anyway, so that's so you're, you're not gonna work. Vibrating out. hoo-ha! So you were coming on to uh, his his nephew. Well, now his I don't know if I can. Was coming on to me. I don't yeah. know if I can trust what Daisy says now because when she says she's at the Mexican consulate, now I don't know what that means. <laughs> like if that's some sort of code for. No, that's a very important uh, uh, group of Mexican people. That's yeah. Right, she's teaching them how to scuba dive next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's teaching the scuba up. class. She, she has solved the problem. <laughs> Uh, of, uh, I, I, actually, it was a year. <laughs> so Daisy, okay, so the, I'm curious about the date that went bad. So, so you, he didn't plan the date. You did, right? That's right. So me. that, okay, right there, that's, that's his fault. fault. That's his fault. No, it is. It's a dude's fault all the way. He's an idiot. But when, but when, moron. But when he moron. Learned, <laughs> so when he's trying, when he's trying to get Idiota. to know, when he's trying to get to know you, are you guys sitting like beside each other, or are you at a table across from each other? We're right next to each other. Okay. And um, huh. and he huh. like, like at a like at uh, like, like a, a seat, club. like like, like a, yeah. is it like a booth? Like a and, booth. <laughs> and then he said, "Hey, stop it! I can't do stop it. You guys have all this energy trying to get down and uh, stop it." You're absolutely right, lady. I have a whole lot of energy to get down. Yeah. So you're sitting, you're sitting at like a, a bench kind of a situation. <laughs> it's just too much. I can't. And he's beside, and so is he trying to like whisper talk to you, or does he have to talk loud? Well, over he the... probably has to whisper talk because the music's it, really loud, was, right? <laughs> Was the music loud? <laughs> at the Moose Lodge, the, the music is very loud. Right. But is. you go to a Moose Lodge. Is it crazy Lodge. loud at the Moose it's Lodge? It's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. You, you yeah. guys are making me sweat now. Oh, yeah. my gosh. But Daisy, so I've been in business be... for, like, a long time. It's so good. Oh, excuse me. Can you please get off my lap for a moment? I'm trying to talk to my date here. Uh... So, tell me about your parents. <laughs> Daisy, what would have been the problem with him picking the date? What, like, why Why did you have to overload him? He would have wanted him? to go to well, dinner. Remember last, time, yeah. remember last time the date was picked by Russ. Okay? Right. Russ sent what, us and what was wrong to with downtown. The, uh, okay. And a nice it romantic was, it dinner. It was nice. It was nice and romantic and nice. But, yeah. but this time I thought, I will take control of the situation. See, that's the problem. You're, you're, you're a control woman. You're yeah. a woman. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. Get after like, it. Do your see, thing. Yeah. I was like, that's it. I'm going to go yeah. my way and figure this thing See, out. You don't want many, a boyfriend. Not, you want a bitch. Not many, <laughs> not many men will be able to handle Dude. Daisy Del Toro because she is a, uh, you know, a strong, independent, a strong woman. independent woman. First and she knows the, She knows the nightclubs that she likes. And she's got to be in control, and she takes you to the club, yeah. whichever one it may be, where, wherever you sit on a or the bench. Or Moose Lodge. And, moose lodge. You, and you see a bunch of girls, and the music is loud. Yeah. Whatever that is, we don't know. Is there a strip uh, club called know. the Moose Knuckle Lodge? <laughs> oh, I, there should be. There should be. Whatever it was. Oh, you guys are Monsters, Monsters Moose Knuckle Lodge. Yeah. So, <laughs> what are some of the questions this guy asked you? Like, uh, I'm oh, just, oh, just oh curious. Wait a minute. I just, oh I'm feeling bad for him. He's trying to get to know you. No, 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 no. He's trying to get in, in, in depth with you. Did he ask about, like, uh, you? Un momento, un momento. I just realized something. What? what? So the elixir. Uh-huh. Elixir. Same guy? 
No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, I would have no, been. No. I would have felt bad running that guy down. No, it's no, not no, the same no, guy. It's uh, not him. It's another idiota. No. <laughs> no, not the same guy. Well, listen. Uh, <laughs> so this guy doesn't get a second shot. No. 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 He didn't no. know how to get down to the right place. I mean, I just felt like it it's was tough, man. You know how the nightclubs serious. are. Huh? You know what I mean? Like I he feel was too serious. Too serious. See, yeah. but he he probably really really liked you, and he wanted to get to know you. And he wanted to last for more than Russ one day. Rollins. You know how this goes down. You have that conversation at the appropriate place. Place that she went to. Maybe not. <laughs> you know, you know how loud it is at bowling alleys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a bowling alley. If a girl invites me to a place that, let's say, is loud with a lot of women and a lot of music, uh, uh, it doesn't seem like a serious date. I guess you need to learn how to pivot and go. Okay, she ain't interested in serious dates. She mm-hmm. wants, she wants fun party date. You know? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so that's why I... Okay, yeah, you gave fine. Him the wrong, so next one, I'm going to do something nicer. Yeah, you gave him the wrong vibe. I got it. I yeah, got yeah, it. No, you didn't. You did the right thing. I, I got uh, it. Weed out, you weed right. out the weak. All right, listen. We didn't he even... Can't, he can't r- rise to the occasion. He just showed you he has zero game. We didn't even start <laughs> to get to the business part side of this. Tracked. So we got to get to the oh, business. Oh, shoot. That's right. We were supposed to talk about that. <laughs> we'll do business when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Monster Special Investigations. Oh, gosh. So we'll do everything. <laughs> Alexa, can you unclog the toilet? Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. But until then, just tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Playing Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Our cellmate Amy let us know about an accident on the right shoulder eastbound on I-4 approaching the 429. It's causing extra delays in an already backed up area. Traffic signals are malfunctioning on State Road 50 at Hancock Road. We're still slow westbound on the 408 from the Conway East Toll Plaza past Mills Avenue. They cleared the earlier crash here. Had a hit and run eastbound on Colonial Drive at Good Homes Road and a crash northbound on Ham Brown Road at Campbell Road. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at East. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law. Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Man, I have an incredible, we have an incredible sponsor that has saved the lives of so many of our listeners. That is Life Imaging FLA. I know it sounds crazy, but it is true. Early detection of heart disease can save your life. That is that is just a fact of the matter. And you were, it used to be you couldn't do this. You couldn't just go get a heart scan if there were no... You know, no symptoms. Now you can do it thanks to Life Imaging FLA. Early detection saves lives, and I would love to get as many listeners as possible to Life Imaging FLA and get the scan that I had. I had the same scan. Now, listen, I thought with all my bad eating I've done in my life, I thought I was going to have some, uh, some, some blockage. Found out I didn't. I'm, I'm good to go, which is great to know. It's peace of mind. Had some other friends of mine that went, and they actually eat better than I do, and they have blockage, and they had to go get it taken care of, but at least they have you know, they, they have the, the word now, and they know early detection saves lives. If you want that early detection, you need to call Life Imaging FLA. You pick up your cell phone. You dial pound 250. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is like a $699 value that a bunch of people have been able to do for free thanks to Life imaging fla it's a free heart scan pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 say the words free heart scan and you'll be connected in seconds you'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iheart media when you talk to them about the free heart scan you then talk to them about the cancer screening that is super important that means something to, it's extra special to me because my sister right now is going through stage four cancer and if she could have caught this way back right when it was stage one you talk about a game changer you talk about different when it comes to you know treatment and outcome so uh, my sister will tell everybody get a scan if you can this scan is available thanks to life imaging fla pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 say the words free heart scan you'll be connected in seconds and make sure you tell them that russ rollins and the monster sent you this year full of Rail Radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Oh, 
Tesla of Trenoblast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. At GiveMeTheVin.com, it's all digital. We have a 45-second offer online. It's fast, it's easy, and we have the best online reviews on the planet. Sell me your car. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. When couples come into International Diamond Center looking for engagement rings, they have lots of pictures from websites, from Pinterest, from designers they love, and 99% of the time, we have what they want. The brands that we carry are the brands the consumer asks for, the, the girls ask for, your future bride asks for. IDC owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC is always on the cutting edge because we partner with the world's leading designers, names like Takori, Viraggio, Henry Dossi, and dozens more. Fashions come and go, but why do some brands stay forever. It's because they stay relevant. IDC was chosen by these acclaimed designers, in most cases, as the exclusive retail partner in the region. We try to provide the best of the best at the most current merchandise in the market today. International Diamond Center, giving you access to the most sought-after brands in the world, with a five-star shopping experience with no compromises. We want people to feel comfortable, relax, educate them, give them high quality for the right price. Store hours and more at shopidc.com. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, <laughs> search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. My friends over at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC want to send you and a friend to on the road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend. You get tickets to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks, and that's going to be on April the 27th. It will be a great weekend because Carl Black always makes sure that you are taken care of. Go to realradio.fm slash contest to register for a chance to win two lawn seats, and you get to sit in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado when you watch the show. Carl Black will provide round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. They're going to give you $200 spending cash, and you're also going to get a two-night deluxe hotel accommodation at the Omni Hotel in downtown Nashville. Guys, that is a great trip. My friends over at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC, they started sending me to Nashville years ago, and it's one of my favorite trips ever. You will love it. Thanks to Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. So win those tickets, win that weekend uh, to Nashville by going to realradio.fm slash contest. Good luck. I'd love to see you win and tell us about the trip. And when you win and you get back, I want to know about the trip. Go to carlblackorlando.com for more information. But remember, if you want to register to win, it's realradio.fm slash contest. Chevrolet, together, let's drive to Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. 
This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. Monsters in the morning. Real radio. Coming at you straight from your stereo. Monsters in the morning. Real radio. Coming at you straight from your stereo. Welcome back to the Monsters Mornings from Radio 104.1. Broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. If you're going to listen to us on your smart speaker, just tell any smart speaker, hey, smart speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, and it will do it for you. Welcome back. I'm Russ with Ryan and Angel. Uh, Monster Music Man Matt here with us today. And Daisy Del Toro, and we're going to make some plans, some stuff. By the we're way, a strip couple, club. couple things I want to uh, uh, talk to you about. <laughs> do you remember when we did the dating game for you? Oh, that was fun. And the one... One guy, Speedy Weenie. Remember Speedy Weenie? Oh, cool. how can I forget this guy? <laughs> Do you know what happened? What happened? So he called us the other day and told us that when uh, that when he was doing the show, uh, someone went uh, and, and saw him on uh, on the YouTube channel, and then that person got hold of a girl he used to date in high school. She got back with him, and they've been dating each other ever since. What? what? Yeah, blissfully in that. love. They blissfully said, in the, love, happy as he happy as they could ever be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so a, love was found that day. Wow. It just wasn't for it you. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't for you. So uh, good job, Cupid. That was you. Cupid worked. Yeah, you know, uh, but it's pronounced uh, it, stupid. It, 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 it worked for uh, for Maybe Speedy it's... Weenie, but uh, but but now you're still trying to. I mean, he's probably laughing at you. Like, look, she's still trying to date. Each, she right. didn't pick me. Uh, and and she's going out. You know, you know. He's a businessman. Uh, he go to a strip club with his speedy weenie. And, then we, she never and, said and his st- weenie's already getting stuff. Ryan, You're right. She mm-hmm. never Whoa. said strip club. Stop saying that <laughs> yeah, to her. Be, be nice. Right. Yeah, so I sorry. didn't. I didn't, didn't, didn't say that. No, no. Stop embellishing. Undressing establishment. No, it was no, a bowling alley. It was a really nice place. It was bowling a nice place. Alley. Daisy, when's the last time you've been to Tampa? Have you been to Tampa lately? Not lately, no. At all. <laughs> That was a weird tone. Yeah. Right? Have, yeah. You, have you ever been to Tampa? Ever been to Tampa? Uh, yeah, of course I've been to Tampa sometimes. What are some of your favorite places to visit in Tampa? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want me? Okay. Lady, you're going to learn. <laughs> Stop uh, it. You're going to learn. You don't want him to talk about it. You can't tell him. I yeah, see. you don't want anything said out loud. Don't say s- it in here. I haven't said anything. I'm asking questions. I'm just uh-huh. saying. Like, like a- okay, if you, I have been to this place that we're discussing. What well, place? I don't know By what you're myself. talking about. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Mons that, Venus. Mm, yes, but not with him. Wait, wait you said that. What? Wait, what are you? What? Why? You didn't talk. Yeah. You I, have. So I went there in an investigation mode. Of course, you have to investigate if they're going to like your tequila. Well, not only that. <laughs> <laughs> I, wa- I wanted to know if this place is actually exist. Right. And I go oh. there because, you know, in Daytona, there's none of that. I, I've never been. That's what, what, not accurate. What's it like, Angel? I've really? never been. Yeah, there's a uh, yeah. Anyway, that's neither. Okay. You know what? That's neither that, here nor there. This is your story. I, I'm sorry for... Uh, no, my, okay, my story sticks to this. I only went there to do research. Research. What kind of research whoever you took do you to Daytona, Yeah, whoever took you to Daytona doesn't know Daytona if they're telling you that there's no, those places there. Really? Yeah, oh, they're trying to hide so they you. Lied yeah. To me? Yeah, they, they lied straight to up lied to you. They're liars. So what kind of research were you doing yeah. at Mons Venus and Is Tampa? this for a documentary? Is this for a documentary that you're <laughs> oh, doing? Maybe I, should a, do, maybe I should do my third movie and, about this. Yeah. <gasps> this could be so much fun. Can yeah. I be, what's that, well, uh, Ryan, what's that uh, position? Can I be the best boy on this? Best boy. Yeah, you can come there can and be like I, the yeah. security Poor helper. Phrasing. I want to be the key grip. I want to be the grip. So Terrible. you go for research to Mons Venus, which, from what I have been told, I've never been. I've You've never, never been, been. Never been. I'm told though it's completely. Uh, Wait a minute. You, that I. I'm not. I'm not going to call you a liar to your face. Yeah, but I've you, never been. You've never. How is that possible? I've never been. I'm an Orlando guy. I'm not a Tampa guy. No, I don't go to Tampa. I think I always thought that like that is a rite of passage. Like everybody at one point or another in their life makes it through those doors. I have not. Don't Ryan, have looks you ever like. been? I would never. <laughs> He's married. Oh, so, so we're just going to start lying. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody, what about I, you, man? I have never even been to a moose lodge. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, because yeah. you're oh, a pastor. Yeah, He's a pastor. Daisy, yeah. I've never even been drunk. He's a man of the Lord. What? Yeah. yeah. Never been drunk, never been high. Well, today's yeah. your first day. Get no. to this tequila. <laughs> 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 
So, We're about to change no. your life today. <laughs> so you go for research at Mons Venus, and, and what are you researching? So I was researching because, you know, I've only seen my own. Oh, God, okay. So I decided to go there to check it out. When you say out. your own, are you saying your own feet? <laughs> <laughs> my own hoo-ha. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I went to see other hoo to see what they got going on. Uh-huh. Huh. I realized they're beautiful. <laughs> I don't know where they brought these girls from, mm-hmm. but I'm telling you what, my so Angelina that's... Jolie looks way different. <laughs> <laughs> so chicks do that. They, they they compare hoo-hahs. Well, at least Daisy does. We don't know if all chicks think like I, Daisy. Well, anything she says, I, I take that as representative of all women. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. Absolutely. She, it's just she's they strong. won't say it, but we are yeah. all curious to see why men like other ones. Okay, so you huh. went down to research that. And, Correct. And you, what you saw made you like, oh, my God. Uh, this is great. So then I, you know, then that's how, yeah. That's how what? How what? Yeah, that, just, Stop, you almost got me there. That's how the, wheel, that's how the, that's how the wheels almost fall off. That's how, that's how what, dude? So you, so you saw others, and it made, did it make you jealous? Did it make you go, oh, my God? No, it made me proud. I was like, wow, women have such confidence there. Oh, right. Actually, I made a video on my Instagram to, like, Go with the whole, like, Cardi B, I finally understand. Like, these women become so confident uh-huh. because... They're they're so open and literally open, <laughs> and then they get money for it, like left, right, and center. People are just throwing money at them. Yeah, that and I'm center like, hole though. Bam. That's right, and and I was shocked. Did I'm it, like, did it make you think? Wow. If, I mean, like at some point in your life when you're maybe a younger woman or whatever, that's something you would have would have wanted to do. No, never, 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 never. No, I, I. But it's gonna make a great documentary, and I get to be on the staff. That's right, <laughs> and I go. would love that staff. because then you guys can guide me better <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, I think, so, you know what? I think, Daisy, you have something here. We need to, because especially here in Orange County, that's probably what they were trying to say. In Orange County, we have a couple nice clubs, but nothing like on the level of Tampa. And there's definitely some ones out in Daytona. We need the uh, bona fide, sign- signed off by the Monsters of the Morning uh-huh. documentary on all the strip clubs yeah. from Tampa from Tampa Bay, that, to, from Tampa Bay, Orlando to Daytona Beach. And we, and we need collectively as a show, we need to visit all of these and, and so we, we could document them your, all. Your other ones are called Melt on This, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you still go with that Melt on theme, you know? That's I mean, right. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. Melt on Hoo-Ha, whatever you want to call it. Uh, um, no, no, you don't want, no, you don't want Melty Hoo-Hahs. No, that's no, not. No, 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 Melty no, no. Hoo-Ha. Uh, Daisy Del Toro's documentary, Melty Hoo-Ha. Um, <laughs> Just a thought. They were yeah. not melting okay, at these all. Are, these are ideas. We're just shooting oh, them at okay, you. You no, don't no. have to take them all. No, no. Uh, so <laughs> when you went, uh, I mean, you went by your. You, so you walked in this place by yourself. I sure did. <laughs> really? I, and it was like amazing. I, I because I got a when lot of attention see, from them. When they see an attractive That's woman right. coming in, you, you, mm-hmm. obviously you, you know, you're well put together. You got the nails. You got, you know, you look like you got money. Uh, and they see you walking <laughs> in. Uh, did, did men ask you to dance for them? No. Oh. They were very respectful and then they sat me like right there and all the girls were coming to me and i was like wow this is great yeah i got more attention than i've ever had (laughs) really yeah i felt special like yeah you see why guys do it i like i finally understand men Uh, i think that's what i got out of the whole thing that's what i was like i mean you could try there's a club uh, there's a club over in tampa that'll let you go up you know? Oh no! Thank you! No! 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 I'm not you, doing that. You won't get up and I'm, dance? Not, I'm not that confident. Like I am proud of them for being that yeah. confident. Uh, I'm you not can, that don't, confident. Don't think of it as yourself. Like you put on like a mustache on and go in disguise <laughs> or something. <laughs> You know, a no, mustache. Come I, on. I, I don't a big sombrero and a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say where to put the mustache. We put it on there. Ew, no, I'm not doing that. Because um, why? I feel like that would be the ultimate confidence builder. You go up there, like, like if there was a uh, no. place that said like if, that would legally let me go and sh- shake my junk. I'd do it one time. <laughs> you would? Uh, shake oh, your yeah. junk oh, yeah, you right could here. totally do, do that, right dude. Now. You could do the Chipperdale thing. You no, would, I want to go full junk out. No, you, they, they do full junk out. You would go do a Chippendale for a bunch of ladies uh, if you thought you can get away with it. Yeah, right now I keep getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Do you also have the big jacket? Yeah. 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 Stay a thousand feet away from a school. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've had to move several times to keep building these GD schools. <laughs> wow.
No, it's I a, love it, right? I feel like it would be very empowering to do it, you know, as a man and get up there, you know? No, no, no. That's why I'm doing this bur- I'm doing a burlesque show, Daisy. You should come to that. That's right. Oh. So yeah. I'm, I'm doing it here in town on 420, and it's uh it's a bunch of it's a bunch of ladies doing a burlesque show, but I'm hosting it. And for me, that that feels like I'm stepping outside of my box a little bit. Yeah, and, and your wife's well, on you. And your wife's not particularly thrilled about you hosting the uh, burlesque <laughs> show, is she? She, I, I, she she's getting used to, she doesn't like that I she feels like I was hiding it from her totally and, and right. I wasn't hiding it I just did I just forgot to tell her right. oh conveniently well I'm forgot a very forgetful me. person just try texting me now I can he, oh. he's, he's honest about that he forgetful as hell oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. is it forgetful or just straight up I don't want to return this for that time it's uh, <laughs> dismissive of the, most of what you say <laughs> so, <laughs> so he, he probably is worse with his no, wife like, I'm, I'm afraid I have early onset dementia a lot of the times because like I'm I, like, like, like I text you yesterday about something I asked you if you could do something and you oh, never you did got, text like, me yeah. and, asked, and you never got back to me He's, so we can do that tomorrow right yeah 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 because what, what I do is like a really bad habit <laughs> he I doesn't look, get back I look at my phone while and, I'm doing something and else. You and you answer the, in your head. I answer in my head. Yes. And yeah. then I and then I put my phone back down, and then I never think about you it again. You need that Elon Musk chip. My you best friends think. know they have to text me five or six yeah. times. And then I'm, I'm, guilty. Like, I'm guilty of doing exactly that. Angel gets right back with me. He'll get back with me right but away. I've, I've I get also, back to you 90% of the time. I, I also have had that issue where, like, I, I'm bad at this, and... I'll read a text and I've yeah, answered dude. or I've, I've thought this, I've thought it all the way through. Yeah. But I haven't let the other person on the other end know that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I need so, the neural link. That I just automatically answer. Back yes. to Daisy uh, at the, the Come on, Venus. Venus. I, I, the I want to work on a movie. Let's do a documentary. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm down. So, hey, listen, I want to do it. How long were you at Mons Venus? I want to say like. An hour and a half. Hour and a half. Perfect. Because you know they don't serve alcohol, so I'm not going to stay longer than that. Oh, I didn't know that. They yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only they, water. And oh, I was like, oh. man, I can't drink I two no hours of water. I don't know. That's, that's probably why I've never been. I, I, well, yeah. If they, I, drink, oh, I, I don't know when they changed this or if there was, but where the, the places that are full nude, they don't serve liquor. Oh. Isn't yeah. that crazy? <laughs> what did your date order? I did not have my date there. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you talking sassy like that to a preacher? <laughs> yeah, Sir, I, I am a, 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 well, I, I'm a a godly woman. <laughs> yeah, I right. wouldn't do such a thing. You're right? <laughs> she would never do such. All right, now Daisy, <laughs> I want to get to the business thing. Oh yeah. During yeah. the break, do not tell me something that I'm gonna have to ask you about on the air <laughs> because it's too good. <laughs> Let me. Matter of fact, I'll walk out of the room so we can when we come back we can do the business. <laughs> Because you keep telling me these, these great stories about yeah. you going. Because <laughs> she told me even more during the break, but we can't talk about you it. You don't do it. Uh, oh, my Don't God. do it. It's <laughs> private information. I got you. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> keep the <laughs> private private. But she was judging. Yeah. I mean, when you're judging other women, yeah. you did say this already on the air. You know, like, like do, were you going, like, between 1 and 10? Like, how well, were you no, judging? what I was And wondering... also, did you see one that you're like, I didn't even know they made them like that? Oh, for sure. Yeah. And then I kept thinking to myself, like, who interviews these women? Well, like, I, that's the job I want. I want the job of the person who hires them. I think it's just that's, whoever it's is usually willing the GM. to do it. No, it's mm. usually the GM. No, but I mean, I can't. I, I, I would think it'd be hard to get women. Uh, that's to, the uh, whole point phrasing. of it. Mm. Oh, you know what I mean? No, because I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking, what a wonderful job. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you're just like, um, all right, next. And then they okay. come in and they just spread eagle. And, okay, yes, yes, yes. And yes, then yes, you're whoa, just whoa. like, is that like you're a sandwich? Hired, Daisy, right? we have to get to you the can bring birds into this. You can say spread eagle, but not too many times. It, was, uh, it too, uh, oh, was it too far? Yeah. <laughs> all right, listen. The interview's conducted orally. <laughs> when, when we come back, mouth. I want to talk uh, this. That doesn't help either. This business thing that we want to talk about. We got to do that when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Mosh of the Morning. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, a cold front will push through, bringing with it increasing shower chances. A few rumbles of thunder can't be rolled out, but overall, we're looking at some scattered downpours, mainly during the late morning, early afternoon. This will give way to increasing sunshine by later this afternoon. Temperatures today won't be quite as warm, with highs in the upper 70s for tomorrow. Sunshine, pleasant temperatures, a high of 76. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. 
Thompson. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Check it out, guys. If you are getting ready for Easter, your Easter feast, your Easter meal, and you're looking to pick yourself up a ham, a roast, a steak, some pies, some desserts, any of that, and I'll urge you, please go visit my friends over there at Wasi's Meat Market. They've got you covered. But here's the thing. With Easter being on Sunday, they're going to be closed on Sunday. So you've got today, you got Friday, you got Saturday to get your orders in for the items that you need from Wasi's Meat Market. Their phone number is 321 321- Two four two three three four eight. Again, that's three two one two four two three three four eight. They're going to be closed on Easter, so take advantage of that. Get your order in today, tomorrow, Saturday. You got to pick it up on Saturday by six, but get your orders in. That's Wasi's Meat Market. If you're planning your Easter feast, while you're doing that, if you're thinking about a big green egg, you got to get out to Wasi's. Man, they got all the sizes there for you. What's also neat is the Wasi's classroom. The uh, that the Wasi's uh, you know big green egg school is right there to the next door. And I was telling you guys yesterday about the brisket class, brisket one hundred and one with uh, Tommy curl of Tommy T's barbecue just a heads up they've rescheduled that that's going to be on June the 9th my birthday on June the 9th they're going to have the cooking class they've rescheduled it to that day go visit the website to get more information about that particular class because what's awesome about it is that you get a Kai Pro bonding fillet knife as part of the uh, the price of the class so go get that information that's at wasismeatmarket.com that's the information also Go visit them on Instagram. Follow them on Instagram. They're a fantastic follow. Frank, Christina, James, they put all the content there, and they give you ideas. If you're looking for an idea for some grilling or some, you know, different flavors, uh, you want to check out their, their rubs and their spices, it's all there at Wasi's Meat Market on IG. You're looking for a big green egg? Go get it at my friends at Wasi's Meat Market in Melbourne. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Grab the beer and battered fish and chips for the light and fresh fare that never skimps on flavor. This beer battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries score them along with a 22 ounce miller light or coors light for 12 dollars every friday from now through easter or grab them with a soda or tea for just 10 bucks twin peaks eats drinks scenic views life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is that's why you should get the drop app with drop you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download DROP now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Canes, Canes, Canes. Get an alarm clock. Get a rooster. Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday, for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on! Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Kings, Kings, Kings. Sunday.
Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj 